All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro 1.0. The full release of the game is finally available to everyone. I will be your Bellatronomics professor. If you're new here, it's Dr. Spectered. Give it a few tries. I apologize, it sort of takes your whole mouth for you to say it. Uh, but maybe I've got a story that will help. Let's say your house is haunted and it's Thanksgiving time. Even though your ghost roommate doesn't pay rent, it would still be rude not to give them a seat at the table with everyone else. And so in the evening, after everyone's had plenty to eat, you go to use the restroom, you find your ghost roommate is hogging the restroom. They won't let you in. Finally, when they're done, when they're out of there, they let you in. You realize they've left you a steaming pile of ectoplasm. That's what we call a spectered. Now, in September of last year, we had a demo version of the game available. Uh, I ended up playing that one for about 800 hours, spread out over the lifetime of the demo. And we got up to all kinds of wacky hijinks. So now, you know, with the full release of the game finally available, uh, let's see what kind of wacky stuff we can do. The plan is this is going to be a stress test. You know, we've got all this new stuff to play with. Let's see how far we can push it. Uh, there was another demo version of the, va of the game available uh, since the end of January up until now. Uh, for that one, I played only one run. Uh, I booted it up. I did a little bit of re-rolling for what I felt were desirable starting conditions. And at the end of the day, I just played the one run and then that was it. Because I've been saving it all for this. Uh, if there are any One Piece fans here, uh, King Punch is all I'm going to say. If you know, you know. But, okay, getting into the new content, let's take a look at the antis here and the blinds. So, the way to read this is in anti 1. Uh, that's the first couple of rounds of the game. The first challenge that you have to beat, the small blind is going to be 300 points to beat the first round. Then the next round, the big blind is going to be 50% more than that. So it'll be 450 for the big blind. And then your boss is typically going to be two times. And so it'll be 600 for the first boss. Uh, in anti two, it'll be 1600 for the second boss. Uh, 5,600 for the third boss and then so on. So, you know, as you go into later and later rounds, it gets higher and higher score thresholds. Okay, you know this. In the demo version of the game, we had access to antis one through five. And so in the full release of the game now it goes up to eight. Um, anti eight is going to be sort of a standard run duration. However, another new feature is this endless mode. And so if you have a run that you kind of enjoy and you're not yet ready for it to end, you can just keep playing for uh, however long that you want. Uh, sort of, there's some limitations on that. And so notice here, as you keep playing into later and later antis here, uh, of course, the score thresholds are going to get higher and higher and higher, uh, except, you know, if we look down here at the bottom, if we look at anti 14, 15, 16, uh, the difference between 15 and 16, uh, that's about 10,000 times here. And then the difference between 14 and 15, that's about uh, 1,000 times here from 10 to the 13th to 10 to the 16th. And so what that means is not only are the numbers getting bigger, but they're getting bigger, faster and faster and faster. And so if you truly want to play forever, if you want to live forever, you need to find some way to meet uh, those increasing score demands. And so that's what we're going to try to do today. We're just going to try to live as long as we can, maybe not forever, but you know, as long as we can. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you just need to learn the basics of the game, highly recommend Gothic Lord UK. Um, they do have some tutorial content 
uh, if you want to learn the game, or you can also learn the game through just watching them play. They have some gameplay recordings. Highly recommend. Uh, very chill vibes. Uh, here, way less chill. Here, we've come for science. And so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, for starters here, what I've done is, again, I've done a little bit of re-rolling so that this first shop has this bull joker that I was interested in. Uh, I will say, with the endless mode, because you have so access to so many more rounds, so many more antis and, you know, whatever shops are available, uh, it's not necessary as much to do a whole lot of re-rolling because, you know, whatever thing that you're interested in getting uh, you can always find it eventually you know if there's some jokers that you want you can always find it eventually if you're interested in getting polychrome cards for your deck you can find them not just through spectral packs through aura but you can also find them in standard packs and you know you get it eventually and so here you know just a little bit of re-rolling to get this bull specifically now, uh, I think people misunderstand the bull. The bull, a lot of people think about it as, oh, this is a payoff, this is a reward for saving money, for earning money. Your reward is you get uh, here plus chips, and then that's gonna help your scoring. Here's how I think of the bull. The bull is able to pack a lot of score into just the one joker slot. You know, if you have a lot of money, then you get a lot of score out of this one joker here, which means the rest of your joker slots are sort of free to be used as, you know, value generators or income jokers. Um, or, you know, if you save up money, you get interest on the money that you've saved. Um, and so what the bull allows you to do is it allows you to save your money. I don't have to spend money on scoring jokers. I can just save my money. And then if I'm saving money, this is by itself taking care of all of my scoring needs. So I think of the bull as this is an income enabler rather than an income payoff. You know, the money itself is its own reward. If you've got all this money, you can buy all these vouchers and booster packs and tarot cards and stuff like that. Um, but this is going to be our main enabler. All right, I will say if we go into the collection here, there is another enabler in the game, this bootstraps that gives you molt for, you know, however much money that you have instead of chips. Uh, there is a reason why I picked this bull and also why we're playing on this is the plasma deck so this is one of the new decks available uh, in the full release of the game so we'll go ahead and look at the plasma deck in our collection here all right so here's the deal with the plasma deck you know i said this big blind in anti one was going to be 450 points actually on the plasma deck everything is two times and so it's 900 points instead and the reason for that is we have this special ability here which is going to make our score calculations a little bit wonky so you know a little bit different from what you might be used to uh you know on the, on the tin what it says is it's going to balance your chips and molt here's how it actually works let's say you've got 100 chips and you've got 1000 molt you know that's not unusual if you've played the demo versions you've maybe encountered a situation like that 100 chips times 1000 molt that would normally give you 100,000 points now with this plasma deck okay we're going to take that 100 chips and we're going to take that 1000 molt and we're going to try to divide it evenly between the two categories and so what it turns into is it'll give you 550 chips 550 molt. Now 550 times 550, we multiply those together, you get uh, about 250,000 points. And so instead of just doing 100 times 1,000, we uh, you know do this weird uh, computation where we spread it out evenly, we multiply them together, and you get this much higher, this 250,000 points instead. So 
One thing this is gonna allow us to do is it's gonna allow us to get higher scores in general. Uh, and so this is why all of the blind uh, sizes, all of the scoring thresholds are higher because we're able to score higher than before. Second thing that's kind of weird and new different about this plasma deck is, you know, when I said I had these 100 chips and these 1000 molt, really, you don't need to get the two numbers to be, you know, equally large. You really just need the one number to be big. And so if you have just the 1000 molt by itself, that then divided becomes 500 and then squared gives you the 250,000 on its own. And so it works the other way as well. If you have a lot of chips, then your molt doesn't really matter. And so that's kind of the reason why I've gone for the bull instead of going for the bootstraps is the bull gives you more chips than the bootstraps gives you molt. And with the plasma deck, it doesn't really matter whether it's chips or molt. The only thing that matters is which number is bigger. And whichever is the bigger number, okay, take that number, have it, and then square it. That's the computation that happens. So at the end of the day, uh, if you have a lot of chips, that is going to be uh, our path towards you know this early game survival. So for example here, uh, I ended up drawing a straight in my open hand. So we'll go ahead and play it and see what happens. So here, uh, 30 times four, it's gonna go up to about you know 80 times four, but then that 80 becomes 40 times 40 instead. All right, moving on, let's, you know, here we've got the hologram. This was something, you know, this uh, X molt here, times molt, uh, very exciting for the demo players. Uh, this is not what we're interested in. Um, this bull is going to take care of all of our scoring by itself. So already here, with the plus 22 chips. All right, hearts are debuffed. So let's maybe, you know, I've got two pair here. I think two pair is enough, but I'm gonna go for a club's flush anyway. Maybe, we'll see. There we go, we got it. And so for the straight, we got 2,000 points. For this one, we've got 2,500 points. So now I know, you know, if I just do the same kind of thing, either a straight or a flush, that'll be enough to beat the next round. And then now my bull is already up to plus 42. So already here with plus 42, that is half as much chips as I was already getting from just playing the hand itself. So this is giving me a 50% boost in my scoring just by itself. Uh, I will take the devil here for whatever kind of income that is going to provide me. And we're just going to keep saving our money for interest. All right, we've got here, uh, I am going to check the skip tags. There aren't a whole lot that I'm interested in, but there could be every once in a while one that I am interested in. Uh, for example, here, you know, garbage tag giving you uh, extra money. You know, as the game goes on, these number of unused discards, those are going to stack up and, you know, maybe we could get a big chunk of money from that. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Now we've got, uh, let's see here. I've got the two pair. Um, instead of going for a full house, I'm just going to try to do, looks like a flush with spades. Should be no problem. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Didn't get there with the flush, but we do have two pair and we do have, like I said, uh, you know, however many chips from the bull. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a gold card. I now have to decide what card I want to make gold. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the... Mm. I'm gonna go with the Jack. Uh, so some considerations there, you know, what is the card that I want to hit with the gold card? 
Um, I don't want to hit the aces because, you know, the aces give you the most chips. That's the ones that I want to play. And you might think, okay, well then you hit the low ones because then the low ones, you never want to play those and you want to get uh, the money from a gold card. Um, the low ones I plan on removing from the deck. And so if I make it gold, then I, you know, have less incentive to remove it from the deck. So I'm going to hit the jack instead. Maybe now would be a good time to talk about, you know, sort of what is the game plan here going in. So if we go to the collection here, actually, even before we go to the, uh, the jokers, let's take a look at these planet cards. If we want to score the most points, uh, so one of the new features to the recent demo and then now in the full release of the game is we now have flush five is a poker hand that we can make. Um, it's its own separate hand, different from five of a kind, and it's worth more points starting out. And then also the scaling numbers are higher. And so here we've got five of a kind gives you plus three malt and plus 35 chips for each planet card. For flush five, it's going to be plus three and plus 40. Uh, it's not much higher, but it's, you know, a little bit higher. And if you get enough of them, then that kind of adds up. Um, it is comparable to a flush house, you know, has the same scaling numbers, even though uh, the base is a little bit lower, the scaling numbers are the same. Um, but we're going to go for flush five because in the end game, if the goal is to get uh, whatever high score that we can in order to survive as long as we can, it will be probably best to have just one card that we're going all in on. So, you know, one suit and one rank that we're going all in on, and then just have a bunch of copies of that same card. You know, maybe we get a polychrome card and we make a bunch of copies of that same one card. And so that's why I'm gonna target, I'm gonna go for a flush five. So what we need to think about is, what is the card that we wanna target? So if I wanna think about, you know, what kind of suit I might wanna target, um, here are some options. Uh, clubs, I could get, you know, plus eight molt for each club. I could get plus 50 chips for each spade. Um, if I'm playing diamonds, I get money instead. So that could be very exciting. We could go for diamonds. Um, but the thing that's going to score us the most points, get us the biggest scores, are going to be hearts. Um, so hearts here, it's a one in three chance but it is, you know, occasionally we'll get uh, two times molt on our hearts. Now, on its own, you know, let's say you play five hearts and one in three of those are gonna give you the times two molt. You know, on average, you're looking at, you know, maybe times two, one, maybe two times out of five cards. So let's say, you know, out of five cards, we get it twice. That's times four uh, from this Bloodstone, which, okay, is going to be a little bit more than, you know, you might get a times three from an Acrobat, for example, or times three from other kind of uh, X Molt Joker. So, you know, already that's not super huge, but, you know, that's off to a good start there. But if we combine this with something like, you know, let's say we've got Sock and Buskin is going to re-trigger all of our car cards. So then we get all of this X Molt for our hearts more times. And then so this is going to pull even more weight if we're able to copy that. You know, basically what this is doing is it turns all your hearts into glass cards. And so you can get a lot more points that way. Speaking of Sock and Buskin, Okay, we, we've decided of the suits that we want to go for, we want to go for hearts. And so for what rank are we going to go for? Uh, we've got some options here. We've got, uh, where is it? There it is. Hack, this is the one that was available in the January demo. So we've got twos, threes, fours, and fives. That's one option for this re-triggering effect. Um, or the other option is face cards kings, jacks, and queens. So we got to make a decision between do we want to play the low ones or do we want to focus on the high ones? Um, or you can even do something funky, uh, like, where is it? There it is, uh, with per Peridolia, 
per, 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 pareidoli, is that how you say it? Uh, you know, whatever, however you say it. Uh, we can do two through five. We can make them count as face cards. And then also we can add sock and buskin um, and they get, you know, more triggers on our two through five. So that's another option. Um, I'm gonna focus on uh, these face cards because you know, some other technology available to us. Uh, for example, we've got the le legendary jokers now. Uh, we've got Tribule is gonna give you, uh, Tribule, Tribule, Trebek. All right, so the Trebek joker is gonna give you uh, kings and queens uh, times two when they're scored. So, you know, similar to, like I said, the bloodstone turns all your kings and queens into glass, basically. They all give you times two score. So maybe what we wanna do is we wanna focus on kings and queens. And between those two, okay, queens give you plus molt for each queen held in hand compared to, uh, where is it? There he is, he's got the funny hat. There we go, the baron. Baron gives you uh, times molt for your kings. And so between kings and queens, times molt on the kings is typically going to be more powerful. So that's it. We're going to focus on trying to get as many kings of hearts as we can and play flush fives with kings of hearts. Uh, which means, okay, if I go back to, you know, here we are, here we are. We made the gold jack. Um, maybe with a couple of strength cards, I can turn this jack into a king. All right, uh, do I wanna play a three? No, I'll do this, and that way, you know, if this doesn't work, maybe I can draw another spade. And just like that, you know, with just two pair, you know, it didn't have to be fancy, it didn't have to be a full house or a straight or a flush, we're able to score enough to pass here, and that is coming from, like I said, this bull is gonna do a lot of work for us. Now up to 62 chips already. All right, now we have extra money to burn here. And so maybe I'm interested in uh, investing in some more scoring potential here. Um, if I spend too much money here, it is gonna make my bull weaker. And so maybe I'm not wanting to do that super much yet. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the devious joker uh, It is foil. So that's going to give us 50 chips uh, by itself, but then also another hundred if we play straights um, So I just want to get sort of our basic scoring needs met and then that way uh, we can start spending our money later All right in the next round here uh, Let's see here if I've got 50 and then another 150 that's like 200 uh, So then that's already 10,000 points, right? Yeah, something like that. So let's try to get a straight here. This is a uh, Straight looks like that. So what I say this is 200. That's about 10,000 points 20,000 if you include the uh, you know, whatever the base scoring from the straight is uh, and so just like that, you know, with just these two jokers uh, out of 2,400, we're already able to reach uh, 20,000. So now we can spend our money. This is what I was saying. You know, if I have my scoring needs met, now this enables me to start using my money. Uh, let's go ahead and get overstock here. Uh, this is huge. This is huge for us. If we have, you know, more joker slots, it's more or more shop slots, it is going to be easier for us to find the things that we're looking for. Um, for my scoring needs, I could open up some celestial packs, um, but I don't need to do that. I wanna save my money for interest. So let's go ahead and keep moving on here. Uh, I do maybe wanna to try to hit a straight. Uh, that's gonna give me the most points, but uh, between these two, let's see here. 50 and then if I don't play a straight if this is just 50 so that's plus 100 chips uh, I Don't think this is gonna work. I don't think the pair is gonna work on its own, but we'll give it a try Well, 
Look at that. <laughs> 4,000 points. All right, so, you know, that's kind of the thing with the bull is you get the chips, doesn't matter what hand you're playing, you get the chips anyway. And so, you know, we can reach a point where we can play literally anything. All right, uh, let's see here. Some, okay, golden ticket. This is gonna give me money when I play my gold cards of which I only have one right now. Um, if I had more gold cards, this is something that I might be interested in doing. For example, I could use the fool here to make uh, an additional gold card. Um, it is easier to play them than it would be to hold them in hand. And you know, maybe I would be interested in making more copies of my gold cards. If I'm interested in things like uh, these re-triggering jokers, I could re-trigger this golden ticket effect. So, you know, with no other options here, why not? You know, let's, let's fucking give that a try. All right, so we got the golden ticket. Uh, is there anything else that I wanna spend my money on while I have the money? Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the Arcana pack. Um, I'll save the standard packs for later when we have more extra money that we're ready to burn. Um, I do eventually want to get some polychrome cards. I want to get some red seal cards. Standard packs are a good way to, or at least a good enough way to get those. Uh, for now, we'll open up the Arcana pack. Here I have the opportunity, uh, I can use death to make extra copies of cards. So, you know, what I really want to do is make more hearts and make more kings of hearts. I don't really have that option here. So what I'm going to do instead is I already have the jack of spades gold. Let's make a nine of spades gold and then make a copy of it. And so I said already I was gonna to try to get rid of the low cards, so let's do that. And then maybe if I do a, you know, this could be part of a straight, this could be um, a flush in spades here um, to trigger my golden ticket. And we'll save the rest of our money for interest. All right, what are we trying to do here? I'm trying to find my gold cards so that I can get money. So if maybe I do something like this, there's my gold jack, there's my gold nine. Maybe let's go one more. All right, this is gonna be fine. Uh, is it possible for me to make a straight here? If I do, I'll get more points for it, so let's try that. Sweet, another 20,000 points. If it's a straight, we get 20,000 points. Uh, if it's not a straight, we get about 5,000 points. All right, uh, once again here, let's see here, we've got the Onyx Agate giving us plus molt, plus molt from even Steven. You know, maybe I've played a couple straights now. We've got plus molt here. None of this matters. No molt is gonna matter to us. The only thing that matters to us is getting more chips on this plasma deck, at least short term. Short term, we're gonna focus on getting chips. So with my extra money here, I am going to buy uh, both of these uh, between the Spectral and the Arcana pack. Uh, I'm gonna open the Spectral pack First. Okay. All right, couple options here. You know, if I want to get polychrome cards, Aura is the way that you do it. You have a one in six chance of getting a polychrome card. Uh, if I wanted, you know, more Joker slots, uh, I could use Ectoplasm here. I'm gonna save Ectoplasm. Uh, you know, I can get another one later in a later Spectral Pack, and then maybe, uh, you know, a more interesting Joker, make it negative. So what I'm gonna do instead of Aura, actually, uh, the Polychrome cards, like I said, you can totally, you can find them in Standard Packs, and so maybe I don't feel the pressure, I don't need to take this now. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to put the purple seal on my king here. And what that's gonna do is when I discard the card, it's gonna give me tarot cards. 
and you know now I get the ball rolling on these tarot cards I can start manipulating my deck in the way that I want um, I'm gonna put it on the king here because I have an incentive to make extra copies of whatever my purple seal card is and so if I'm gonna be making copies of it I might as well be making copies of a king instead of something else All right, and now we'll check out this Arcana pack. All right, we've got the option to, you know, maybe use death to make another copy. I can make more hearts. Um, I don't actually need the hearts right now. Um, I want the kings of hearts, but I don't need all of my other cards to be hearts necessarily. So the main thing that I'm gonna focus in on is uh, removing cards from the deck you know we start out with 52 cards that's a ton of noise I want to get my gold cards more regularly from my golden ticket I want to get my purple seal more often so that I can make more tarot cards faster and so we'll just get rid of uh, I already took out the three of diamonds might as well four and six of diamonds gone and then we'll save our money for interest All right, again, we've got some spades here. And so if I want, I can try to look for a spade flush or actually we said straights are going to be worth more points. So maybe if I discard these looking for a king, uh, we've got the 10 of spades. Okay, we've already drawn here. This is going to be a straight. Let's go ahead and discard those. Uh, we've got the nine here, so I can go ahead and discard the nine and maybe hope to get our jack. Didn't get it, but that's totally fine. Like I said, with 50 cards still left in our deck, you're not gonna get your gold cards all of the time. And we already know this is 20,000 points. All right, we've got uh, some opportunities here in the shop. Uh, we've got the Hermit that can give us more money. Um, since I have the money to spend, I'm going to, let's start with the standard pack. Looking for polychrome cards, didn't get it, no problem. Uh, let's look at the Celestial pack. I'm looking for, you know, in the end, I wanna get these flush fives going, but I haven't played a flush five, so I can't get the planet card for that yet. Um, in the short term, you know, maybe I'm looking to make straights, uh, which is not what we got here. Um, but maybe if I am going to get more kings in my deck, you know, at least that's what the goal is. Maybe we can do full houses as a backup or mm, actually it doesn't matter because the bull will be giving us so many chips. It's not going to matter super much. All right, I am going to take the Hermit here. I wanted to open the Celestial Pack first and use the Hermit second. You know, in case I get a Fool, then I can use the Fool to copy the Hermit. You know, that's one of the considerations. That's gonna end up not mattering because I am gonna take this Hangman and I'm gonna use this Hangman, which is gonna get copied by a Fool if I get it. Um, and then since this is, we just defeated the Big Blind, the voucher is going to go away so let's take a look at the voucher and see if this is a thing that we want it's going to give us minus one hand per round that's the drawback if you have unused hands at the end of a round you get money for your unused hands and so if we have one less hand this is going to you know reduce our income here um, so that's a consideration but you know, if the goal is to survive as long as we can, you know, in endless mode, then this minus one ante here, what that's going to do is it's going to reduce the scoring thresholds. Um, and so if the score thresholds are lower, then we get to survive for longer. That is something that I'm interested in doing. Um, then I have more time with uh, saving up my money. All right, as we're looking in here, I have the opportunity to use the hangman. I can either use it right away or I can save it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use it right away here. 
Um, I said I want to remove my low cards, so you know I already took out some diamonds. Let's go ahead and remove these low cards here with the hanged man. Um, the bull is now plus 88, plus 50 from the devious joker, even if I don't play a straight. So let's do something like this. I'm looking for spades. Maybe like this. Maybe one more time like this. Or let's see here, we got seven left in the deck. Uh, we don't necessarily need to play it safe, so let's do it something like this. All right, so we've just got the nine. Uh, luckily here we are able to make a straight. Uh, if I didn't make a straight, if I just played the nine here, we will still get 6,000 points. And so that is once again demonstrating the power of the bull here. Doesn't matter what hands we play, I don't actually need this 100 chips from the Devious Joker. This is huge, overstock plus. Now we're up to four shop slots. Again, making it easier to find whatever it is we're looking for. Right now what we're looking for, since we've got the bull taking care of all of our scoring needs, Really what I want now is just whatever kind of income jokers that I can get. So for example, uh, the clown here gives us a free reroll. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Um, I don't need to make spades. I don't need to make flushes. You know, we saw, you know, just a regular nine is totally fine for us. So let's reroll and we get another new uh, income joker here. So this is going to be kind of like the golden joker uh, every round it's going to give us money except every time we beat a boss it's going to be worth even more money um, and you know keep getting bigger and bigger so we'll hold on to the you know really great if we're planning on uh, playing to really high antes and playing for a long time uh, since i have the extra money here let's go ahead and open these standard packs looking for red seals um, and also potentially looking for uh, polychrome cards. So between these two, uh, you know, as just a card on its own, sort of uh, in a vacuum here, this red seal, it comes with a golden card. So it's gonna re-trigger our golden ticket. But because I am targeting, in the end, I'm targeting my uh, Kings of Hearts, you know, there is some consideration for getting this King of Clubs as an additional King for the deck. That is what I'm gonna do. All right, in the standard, other standard pack here, we have, you know, potentially a blue seal here giving us random planet cards. Um, I'm not going to take this because, you know, I don't want to make my deck, you know, too bloated with noise. I want to be able to get my other cards, you know, my purple seal. Finally, I want to be able to get that. So we're going to pass on the blue seal. And we're going to keep saving our money here. You know, some consideration for if I want to level up my straights here. Um, but I said, you know, with the power of the bull, I don't actually need to spend the extra money on this. I can just go to the next round. All right, what are we looking at here? Uh, maybe something like this. Uh, I'm gonna try for a straight. It's not gonna matter super much if we don't get it, but I am gonna try, um, except maybe now I'm in a situation, like I said, I want to try to get uh, my king of hearts. I wanna try to get my uh, spades here. So, Maybe I will do something like this. There we go. Okay, we got the nine of spades. Maybe now do something like this. Looking for my uh, jack of spades. Didn't get it, but we can still play this straight. We are getting quite lucky, quite lucky with these straights that you know we end up getting them. And that nine of spades keeps coming around. I know we have two of them, but it's pretty lucky we keep getting the nine of spades. 
All right, uh, you know, more planets that we don't need. So we'll go ahead and roll again, looking for more income. All right, we've got the bull and it's handling, you know, to some extent our scoring needs here. You know, now we're up to 8,400. Uh, let's see here. Do I want to give up some of these to exchange for this golden joker giving me, me even more money? Hmm, probably. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. Let's get rid of the devious joker to swap it in for this golden joker. Um, I think maybe we're not gonna one-shot this. Maybe it'll take two hands um, and we'll get less money because we use more hands, but I think the money from the Golden Joker is gonna make up for that. Uh, between these booster packs, um, I don't need the planets, uh, the standard packs. I am looking for my, uh, you know, potentially polychrome cards, potentially more purple seal cards. Um, I'm gonna wait on the standard pack, you know, so that I get more value out of my bull. Top up tag, I don't need that. All right, what are we looking for? We're looking for, again, our jack and our nine. So let's ditch some stuff. All of this stuff, sure, why not? All right, we've got the nine here. I am going to go for a flush because, you know, I want to think about what is a hand that would possibly contain this nine. And what we've been doing in the past is we've been playing straights, you know, with the jack and the nine. Um, also, a flush will work. I already threw away some queens, and I threw, this is going to be my second king that I'm throwing away. Uh, so, you know, if I wanted to, I could keep the ten, hoping to draw the jack. Um, I'm actually going to throw the 10. I do get the possibility of drawing either the Jack or the 9 as my gold cards. And then maybe one more discard here. So there we are. We've got the Jack and the 9. And then we can play the flush here. I don't think this will one shot. Okay. Mmm, close. You know, that's the trade-off. We sold the Devious Joker. We lost the foil. Um, but now, okay, bull is 128 chips. So half that is 64. 64 squared is, I don't know. Anyway, uh, 1,100, that'll probably be two hands. That's the, that's the short version. Uh, this X Mult we don't need. Go ahead and re-roll maybe. Okay, we do have... Here's a new one, personal favorite of mine. Hallucination. Gives us tarot cards when we open booster packs. So we will, you know, eventually be, be opening lots of booster packs, as many as we can. And so that's gonna give us uh, tarot cards to shape our deck. So maybe that's something that I want. Okay, what am I willing to give up here? I've got this choice between the Golden Joker or, you know, maybe the Clown giving me the free re-rolls. I think I'd rather have the Golden Joker for just the raw money that I can keep saving. Um, and then the re-rolls, you know, if I have the money, I can spend it on re-rolls if I want, but I don't have to. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell the Clown you know, it's a little bit awkward that I'm not able to use my free reroll as soon as I sell this. Uh, I just lost five bucks, basically. But I didn't need to reroll anyway. I was only rerolling because it was free. Rerolls, you know, it costs five bucks. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's worth five bucks. Now, uh, in the next round, I'm fully expecting that I will have to play two hands. And so I can go ahead and spend a little bit of money here, acknowledging the fact that I'm accepting I will play two hands. So let's go ahead and open the Arcana pack. Uh, okay, I've got a couple options here. I can use death to make another king, another you know red seal on my king, or I can make more gold cards. You know, potentially getting more money from the golden ticket. So. 
here's something to think about. The planet cards for the flush five, you can't find them until after you've already played the hand, after you've already played your first flush five. So there is some incentive. If I play flush five earlier, I can get more flush five planet cards. And so, you know, maybe what I want to do is I want to make the king and then hoping to make them hearts as soon as possible. Or maybe they don't even need to be hearts in order for it to be just our first flush five. Or if I have more nines, if I have more gold cards, if I have more money, then I can buy more cards later. You know, I can buy more booster packs. I can sh do more shop rerolls and find more planet cards. And so maybe that'll make up for the fact that I don't have my flush five earlier. So I think it's close. And I think what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to make the king. I'm going to go ahead and make the king. Try to get that flush five unlocked as early as possible. Uh, we'll go ahead and open the standard pack. So some consideration for if I take a queen of hearts, I can turn that into a king of hearts. I don't think that's going to be necessary. So let's not do that. But we did consider, we did think about it for a second there. A uh, hallucination giving us a tower card, which we can just sell. Or, you know, I'm gonna hold on to this. Uh, we know that when generating uh, planet cards, you know, when we're shopping, you can't get repeats. And so as long as I hold on to this tower card, uh, I'm not gonna see another tower card. So. It's marginal, right? There's 22 tarot cards. It's gonna skip the one repeat tower card, but you know, every little bit helps. All right, first hand is drawn face down. So, you know, we can go ahead and discard these, um, or we could even just play them. You know, the bull is giving us all of our scoring here. It doesn't matter what hand we play. Um, since my gold cards are uh, the higher cards, you know, I've got jacks and nines, you know, higher cards are going to be on the left, lower cards are going to be on the right. Um, I'm going to discard these cards on the right instead of the ones on the left. Um, or another thing that we can do, we could do a sort by suit. And if we sort by suit, then the spades on the left, non spades on the right. Maybe, you know, we'll give that a try. All right, there we go. We've got a nine of spades here. If we sort by suit here, you know, these are other spades here. So this could be the jack, you know, there could be a nine in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play all of these now. I already know that the, you know, it's gonna take us two hands anyway. So we might as well play this. There we go, like I said, you know, the jack and nine. I got x-ray vision. Damn, I really thought it was gonna take us two hands and it is, but it's closer than I thought it was. You know, again here, demonstrating the power of the bull, at least on the plasma deck. All right, uh, I've already gone through, I've used up my gold cards. So now, you know, maybe I'm looking for my uh, purple seal. So let's just go ahead and discard um, a bunch of stuff here. You know, maybe this is my purple seal. You know, if I sort by rank here, maybe this is my king. Uh, it wasn't, but here's that king. I can go ahead and discard. We get the lovers. This could help us make our flush five. And then we'll go ahead and play whatever, I guess. You know, might as well be two pair since we got it. All right, so we do want to make a note there. Um, if I just play garbage, it's worth about 6,000 points, you know, maybe closer to 7,000 now that I have more money here. Um, cashing out 18, because we've got rocket is increasing to three now every round. Uh, we've got the golden joker giving us three every round. Off to a great start. Vagabond, not really what we're working on here. You, we want to be saving our money 
Uh, we do have uh, another, this is the upgraded version of the hieroglyph voucher. So if we go to uh, you know, our vouchers here, we've got hieroglyph, hieroglyph giving us minus one ante, lowering those score thresholds. We've got petroglyph doing the same thing. Uh, the drawback here, we get minus one discards. So with this voucher, what I want to do is, you know, if I buy it now, you know, if I buy it early, then I have this minus one discard forever, you know, but um, I can go into the next round. I can beat the small blind. I can beat the big blind. And then after two rounds, I can buy this voucher later. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this later so I can use my discards. All right, between these, uh, Jumbo Celestial, there's no planets that I'm looking for right now, so uh, I'm not even gonna bother with the Jumbo Celestial. Uh, with the Spectral Pack, I do wanna see what's offered. Okay, so this is useful. We've got Cryptid allowing us to make extra copies. For example, um, I've got this let's go king of spades is that what i want no i've mm, i've got the same number of spades and clubs um except i've got uh you know the spades are gold already so between these two king of spades is already spades king of clubs i'm gonna make into spades with the lover tarot card and then now that this is a wild card, let's go ahead and copy it. All right, so if we look at the deck here, if I want to make my flush five, I've got here's five kings of clubs that I can make my flush five, um, or you know any other king plus these three wild kings, that'll get me four out of five. So it's just clubs for now. Potentially we could get uh, you know, something else later. Uh, I'm gonna save my money and just go into the next round. All right, checking here. Those are not tags that I'm interested in doing. Uh, I did forget, remember Hallucination is gonna give us a tarot card when we open uh, any booster pack. And so before I open the Spectral Pack, I was supposed to make room for my tarot card, but I forgot. Um, Oh well. All right, what am I looking for now? Uh, it doesn't matter what hand I play. I'm only looking for maybe my kings to play my flush five or maybe my gold cards. So let's fish for some gold cards. There's one. There's another one. Okay, we do have some of the kings. Uh, I'm probably not going to draw my, you know, all five of my kings. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this and try again another time. Um, I am looking for more spades. So maybe if I do this, let's see here, 11 spades out of these 33 cards left. Uh, no problem getting another spade. Or if we don't get it, I can just play this solo nine. Let's see here. Uh, you know, we said with the bull here, just playing, you know, sort of any hand, we would get 6,000, 7,000 points. So it's gonna take us two hands anyway. There, I could have played, instead of just the nine, I could have played, you know, four or five cards as a high card hand, and then I would have drawn more cards and potentially had more opportunity to draw my other gold cards as the second hand. All right, uh, let's see here. Some interesting joker options here. For example, we've got the Let's start with the Drunkard. Drunkard's gonna give us plus one discard. That's gonna make it easier for us to find our gold cards, easier for us to find our purple seal cards. 
and then you know use those for you know more value so some consideration for taking the drunkard or we've got the burnt joker uh, this is a new one this is going to when we discard a hand it's going to upgrade that hand and so you know if we get to the point where all of our cards are spades then you discard five spades you upgrade flush every time um, or you know if we get uh, all of our cards all of our cards 100% uh, kings of hearts you can use this to get an upgrade on your flush five every time this is very powerful um, but not really what we're doing right this minute you know maybe you know what I said about endless is because it goes on so long you can whatever you're looking for you can find it eventually if I pass on this now I could find it again later uh, between this drunkard and you know what I'm looking at now if there's anything I want to replace um, I think hallucination is going to be more valuable getting the tarot cards to manipulate the deck um, I think golden joker is going to be more valuable uh, this could give me access to more of my gold cards more often could give me access to this purple seal but I think on average the four dollars from the golden joker is going to be better for us so we're going to stick with the jokers that we have um, do I want to open up booster packs, potentially looking for tarot cards from the hallucination? Absolutely, let's do it. Hangman is exactly what I'm looking for. We could get another king here. If I have two kings of spades, I can try to make flush five with kings of spades. I'm going to pass on this. Uh, really, we're looking for uh, that polychrome card. All right sell the tower making room you know it's one in two chance but there's always a chance if i open the celestial pack we get another tarot card um, between these options i think the deck is leaning more towards uh flushes so let's do that and i said we'll take this voucher later um, after doing the big blind All right, uh, we want to, if I want to use my Hanged Man, I can go ahead and do it now and get rid of some of my low cards. So, you know, if I discard, if I discard all of these, then I'm going to discard five, I'm going to redraw five. If I remove these first with the Hanged Man and then discard four, I'm going to redraw six cards instead. So using the Hanged Man, now, earlier, I'm able to redraw more cards. Um, I do have this Magician, so some consideration for, with my Red Seal, if I make this a lucky card with the Red Seal, you know, potentially triggering more times, I could potentially get uh, more money from that. Um, I think what I'm going to, you know, it's gonna be hard for me to play the King and the Jack in the same hand. And so if I'm choosing between these, uh, I'm gonna play the gold card to go with my golden ticket. So this magician, um, I'm gonna save that for later. So now discarding five, um, I'm gonna redraw seven cards. All right, so now we've got, uh, here's our king of hearts, here's our, uh, I forgot I got two of these, I got two of these gold seal clubs okay maybe now what we'll do is we'll discard uh, I'll keep the spades I'm gonna discard here the purple seal we've got a tarot card we've got the Emperor and let's discard one more time um, I'm looking for one more spade that way I can play the jack and the nine in the same hand though since, uh, you know, I don't have enough scoring to one shot this, I'll have to play two hands. I can always play the nine and the jack in separate hands. All right, so we did get, uh, here are, look at that, those are our spades. I'm gonna go ahead and make this six of spades into the lucky one. Um, that way I can go ahead and play it with my spades. 
And the emperor is going to give us, okay, with the world, I can make more spades. I'm going to hold on to this one. I don't need it now. You know, maybe in the next round I can use it. Um, Hierophant, I don't need either necessarily, but it is going to give me extra chips. So maybe if I sell it, it gives me a dollar. Or if I use it, you know, potentially that's going to give me more points. And maybe it's not impossible for me to one shot. Let's give it a try. Maybe something like that. Look at that, for all you believers out there. All right, now we just beat the big blind here. So this is the last opportunity to purchase the voucher. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Only two discards, sad. Uh, the spectral pack, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, tough choice here. Tough choice between we've got the red seal or we could get another purple seal here. Uh, we already have a red seal card, and so the plan is, the plan is we'll get a polychrome card from a booster pack, from a standard pack, which means I don't need to worry about making a card red seal and then putting in aura and then turning it into polychrome. Uh, we'll do it the opposite way. We'll start with a polychrome card and we'll put a red seal on our polychrome card, which means for now, uh, really what I want is more tarot cards to manipulate the deck, so we're going to take the purple seal instead. Uh, long term, later on, we'll get all of our red seal action going, but we've got plenty of time. Let's start with the purple seal. And see what the standard pack has for us. Um, another seal here, again, another blue seal but we don't want to uh, bloat the deck. We want to trim it down. All diamonds are debuffed. Um, you know, you should get into the habit of as soon as, you know, the rant, as soon as the ante starts, as soon as you're in the small blind, you should look ahead at what the boss is going to be and inform, you know, two or three shop decisions, I guess, um, two or three rounds of shopping should be informed by what the boss is going to be. You should look ahead at what the boss is going to be. I never do. Uh, I always forget, but it is a good habit to get into looking ahead at what the boss is going to be. All right. Uh, unfortunately, you know, since I put the purple seal on my wild card, this is debuffed, so I'm not going to get any value right now. Um, I'm not even able to play it as part of a flush if that's something that I was interested in doing. Um, I do have the opportunity with my world card to potentially make some spades. Uh, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save the spades um, and then just discard here. Well, if I draw all my kings, maybe I can get it to happen. You know, like that, if I just draw a bunch of kings. Um... Is that going to work? I do have also this moon that was kind of lucky. So maybe if I discard these looking for another king. Or if I discard this king. Hmm. Do I want the tarot card or do I want to try to unlock my flush five? How many kings do I have? I have four kings out of 36 cards. Let's. gamble a little bit here if i get any other king i can do the flush five let's do it so for example this king long term i want king of hearts short term i want to unlock my flush five so i guess these are clubs now um let's make the you know we'll do the ace of hearts also um yeah, that's fine. Uh, the diamonds, I don't care whether it's diamonds or clubs. Uh, the ace here, I don't care if it's hearts or clubs because I am going to remove my aces. This ten of hearts, I want to keep it as hearts because, you know, maybe I'll get strength cards. Maybe this ten of hearts becomes 
Jack, Queen, King of Hearts. So we'll keep that one and then we'll do the King here. It'll become clubs for now, but later on with access to all of our tarot cards, we'll turn it into hearts again later. At least that's what the plan is. Here's my flush five. All right, we got 40,000 points for that one, but you know, don't get used to it. We're not gonna be scoring that much uh, all of the time. We're, we just wanna play the flush five one time to get it unlocked. We don't wanna be playing it all of the time. Okay, uh, paintbrush, instead of waiting on the voucher, I'm gonna take it right away. Increases our hand size, so then you know it's easier to find the cards that we're looking for when we're looking for them. Uh, Arcana pack here. I'm gonna take the standard pack first. Mm, yeah, let's do the Arcana pack first. If I get a tarot card from the hallucination, I wanna be able to use the tarot card right away. So we'll go Arcana pack first. All right, in here, I've got the option to make more spades or, you know, here I can use the priestess, here I can use the sun to start making kings of hearts. Let's start making kings of hearts. Okay, so we've got the kings here. Queen could become a king of hearts. Let's go ahead and do that. Standard pack. We've got lucky card here. We've got a purple seal here. We've got a gold card. Between all of these, the thing that I want most is probably going to be the purple seal so I can try to get more tarot cards. It is gonna add a card to the deck, but I think that's gonna be worth it long-term, getting those extra tarot cards. All right, since we took the uh, petroglyph voucher, you know, if we go to the vouchers here, we've got the hieroglyph and we've got the petroglyph, took us back an ante, so the score threshold is 12,000. Uh, we can easily do that, which means, all I care about is value, value town. Let's go. Tarot card, hermit. Don't mind if I do. E. Okay, what do we get? Uh, we've got a six, and it's gonna one shot. Oh well. So, you know, quick mental math here. If, if this is uh, 260, you know, that's about, uh, yeah, let's say it's 260 divided by two is about, uh, you know, 130, 135. 135 squared is somewhere north of, you know, 10,000, 15,000. All right, here, uh, what do we got? We've got, uh, I could use the Hermit, use the Fool to get another Hermit. That is something that I'm interested in doing. So we'll go ahead and go Hermit first. Fool. Yeah, okay, Hermit. Um, some consideration for if I hold the Hermit so that I do Celestial Pack first, get a planet card and then use the hermit after that way if there's another fool you know you can copy the hermit instead of copying the planet card but since I'm holding on to this world and since this hallucination is going to give me uh, another tarot card then it's kind of awkward to hold on to all that extra stuff so you know between these now I've got the heiress planet card that's the planet card that I want and I've got the money here um, I would rather a fool copy hermit so I'm going to use the planet first and then the hermit second. And since we're here, since we have the money, let's go ahead and open the buffoon pack. Uh, we're pretty good on our jokers here. There aren't a whole lot of things that we're looking for, so we can kind of ignore all of this. But it's worth taking a peek um, just to see you know, there could be minor improvements, but you know, mostly what we're looking at is the bull by itself doing all of the scoring and the rest of these giving us money we will spend later.
All right, uh, let's make some room here. Do I want to use my Hierophant? I don't really need to, so let's sell it. One dollar, good enough. And let's discard, I don't know, something like that. Saving our spades here. Hierophant again, I don't need. Discarding again. Um, some consideration when you're playing with these purple seal cards, what you can do is instead of discarding, I can play these four cards and then after playing one hand, just sort of a garbage hand, then draw my cards and then save my discard for later. Save it for if I eventually draw my purple seal cards. Uh, the problem is the bull gives us too many points. The bull is going to one shot. So I'm not able to, you know, burn a hand. So we'll go ahead and just discard. Um, I am going to throw the three. I got plenty of spades left in the deck and I've got the world in case of emergencies. There we go. So, you know, there we drew the purple seal. If we had played a hand, if we didn't have the bull, then you would have been able to draw and then discard the purple seal. Maybe I can do something like this. Death is huge for us. Um, I'm going to open the booster packs first because Hallucination is going to give us tarot cards and I don't want to block my consumable slots. Alright, I don't need any of this. We can sell the Empress to make room. Steel King or this uh, Wild King. This is a King of Hearts for us. We already unlocked our flush five. In the short term, we're gonna use our bull for our scoring. In the long term, we're gonna to switch to kings of hearts. So we don't need this right now. We'll get there. You just gotta be patient. And endless is, you know, we got a lot of time to play with. All right, one dollar for every card played. All right, no problem, boss. All right, let's see here. I want to discard looking for my gold cards. Yeah, maybe something that looks like that. Okay. Now it's time to make some decisions. So I got this death card here. Let's make another king of hearts and we put the purple seal on the king of hearts on purpose so then now i said before whatever card i put the purple seal on that's the card that i want to make copies of so by putting it on the king of hearts now i'm able to make a second king of hearts uh if i wanted to uh this just happens to be a flush five we don't need a flush five what i want is to maximize my money so you know maybe if i go this queen and seven if i turn these into spades then i can play these lucky cards and you know maybe just throw in some kings for fun so we do you know lose some money there from playing the extra cards but you know, potentially we have the opportunity to gain money from playing the extra lucky cards. We ended up not getting the money, but you know, there's always the chance. Uh, the lucky card gives you $20, uh, one in every 15 times. And so on average, it's about a dollar each. Mm, now that I say it out loud, probably it was better to just play the gold card rather than playing the lucky cards. Oh well. All right, and the next one here, we've got discard voucher, absolutely. You know, so that we can get more purple seal action. Um, for the one run, the one run that I did of the January demo version, uh, we started with a purple seal card. Um, that was something that I was looking for. We started with that so that we could, you know, make a bunch of copies. So that's going to be the main technology here. Uh, as far as the deck manipulation is going to be those purple seal cards. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at 
the standard pack. Here's another King of Hearts. Uh, I don't need this King of Hearts because I already have these Kings of Hearts. Really, and I don't need this Red Seal because I already have these Red Seals. So really we're just looking for Polychrome. Okay, Spectral Pack here. We've got Ouija, we don't need. Definitely we can't afford the minus hand size and you know, probably I don't want a random rank, I want a specific rank. Some consideration for, do we want Ankh? Do we want to create a copy of a Joker? We do get to pick. So, you know, if I want, I could sell four of these guys and then make a copy of the other one. So, do I want to make a copy of my bull? Right, if this is where all of my scoring is come from, coming from, if I have two of these, then I'll have twice as much scoring. Or actually, you know, the way the plasma deck works is if my chips are twice as big, then, you know, after dividing and after squaring, uh, you know, whatever the computation is, um, that's actually a times four bonus instead of just a times two bonus. Um, and so that's why, you know, all the score thresholds are, you know, times two what they would normally be. So, okay, consider this. We already have enough points to one shot all of the time. I don't actually need more points. So I don't need this copy. Um, I could, you know, potentially uh, the rocket here giving us $7 per round and keeps increasing. I could make two rockets, um, but I don't want to give up my bull. So I don't need any of this. Um, let's check here. Do I want to use any of these tarot cards right now? Uh, I do not. All right, we can, however, you know, I can sell this tower and I can use the priestess. Uh, I don't need any of those either. So let's just go into the next round. All right, in the next round here, I am just looking for purple seal cards and potentially a few gold cards. So let's make some room here. Discard those. Uh, oh, we got another devil here. So potentially I want to use that to, you know, get more value out of my golden ticket. Okay, sure. Let's keep the focus on spades, you know, since my other uh, gold cards are already spades. You know, it'd be nice to turn them into hearts eventually, but we'll focus on spades for now. Maybe something like this. All right, so what can we do here? We've got the gold jack. Um, so the thing about the golden ticket is you get the money if you play it. You also get the money if you don't play it. And so maybe, you know, I don't need to force this. I don't need to play the jack of spades. Another thing that we can do, so we can take this king of spades or this king of clubs. If I turn this into gold, then now with the red seal with the retrigger we'll get even more money maybe that's what i'm interested in doing and so you know with the golden ticket it works whether i play it or whether i don't play it so maybe let's go here are the spades like that and then saving this king here all right cool All right, moving right along, uh, we've got planets. I'm looking for my flush five. Uh, do I want any of this? You know, probably not. Um, I will say if we go into the collection here, you know, one of the new jokers, we've got the satellite. Satellite gives you money for each planet that you've used, unique planet. So there is some utility in, let's spread it out here. So if we go in here, we've got 
full house, flush, flush five. Let's do straight flush. That's one that we don't already have. And uh, regular straights. That's one that we don't already have. You know, there's no guarantee that we get the satellite, but if we do, we want to be prepared. Since, you know, it doesn't matter otherwise. Uh, let's sell the tower. Celestial pack. Uh, so now here, again, we have the option of four of a kind. That's one that we do not already have. Um, something that I forget about, if you mouse over this, it actually says level two, uh, straight flush here, level one. And so you can actually see which ones you have leveled up or not. I always forget that. I always look at the, uh, you know, run info. Silly, silly me. And let's keep saving our money. All right, uh, garbage tag here. You know, uh, since we've been using our discards trying to go for those purple seals, this is not going to be useful for us. Uh, this is more so, you know, if you have these runs where, you know, you've got green joker or you've got uh, the ramen joker where you get rewarded for not using your discards if you've got delayed gratification then this is useful then most of the time this is not going to be useful to anyone it's not my favorite all right what are we looking at next mm, something that i'm interested in is i have this chariot that i want to use so how do we want to use this I want to try to make my red seal card into steel. Okay, so that's one thing that I'm working on. Uh, then if I want to discard this purple seal card, I need to make room. So maybe what we'll do is ace of clubs, eight of clubs, six of hearts. These hearts, I want to try to turn into kings. These hearts, I don't care about. Maybe I'll throw them away. So we'll go ahead and turn those into spades. You know, it just makes it easier for us to play our gold cards. And we'll go ahead and discard. Maybe something like that. Maybe I don't need these hearts. Maybe if I do this, I could get a straight. I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of stuff. It doesn't matter. Wheel of Fortune, we could get Holographic, we could get Polychrome, those are not really interesting to us. Uh, we could get the 50 chips is probably the most worth it, that's the thing that we're most interested in. That's also the most common, if you didn't know, between those three, uh, the foil is the most common. Wheel of Fortune did get a buff, it is now 1 in 4 instead of 1 in 5, if you're used to the old version. The difference there is 5%. The difference is one in 20 uh, that you didn't get before you now get. So it's not that big a difference, but it is, you know, it's nice to, yeah, every little bit counts. Let's try to get the foil. Let's see what happens. Holographic instead, absolutely useless to us, except for it does raise the sell value. So instead of this selling for two, now it sells for three. You know, eventually when we trade in our jokers for scoring jokers. So instead of selling the Wheel of Fortune for a dollar, we got a dollar from using it, I guess. All right, let's keep looking for those, uh, you know, purple seals. Maybe something like that. Got the purple seal, but it was a little bit late. We could play here is a flush. Let's do it. 74,000 points from our bull alone. Hangman, I do want that. I'm gonna open the booster packs first because of this hallucination. Let's go Arcana first. All right, Wheel of Fortune on the Fool is not something that I'm interested in. Um, making an extra, here we go. There is my steel with the red seal. That's gonna give me my X mult in the end game. That's gonna give me my scoring that I'm looking for. Uh, fool, I can make another chariot if I want. Or actually what I want is, I want the lucky card. I wanna get 
you know the economy going so if I want to make a lucky card what do we want here how about the Queen the Queen is the card that I'm least likely to get rid of or you know I'm most likely to hold on the longest all right now I can pick up the hangman um, I can open the standard pack another purple seal card do I want more purple seals yes sure why not uh, you know some like we said before you don't want to bloat the deck you don't want to have uh, too much noise too much garbage but purple seal is always worth it all right we only get to play one hand type so let's start by card removal we've got uh, ace of clubs eight of diamonds those we can remove this other stuff here we can go ahead and discard all right we got the jack of spades so we'll hold on to the spades all right we've got the purple seal that we can throw away we've got the kings here you know maybe something like this that's five uh i've got 12 spades left in the deck so yeah something like that there we go uh justice to make a glass card i will do that uh if we're trying to play endless if we're trying to play infinite um glass cards help you with sort of short-term scoring you know turn all your cards to glass you get a bunch of points that way um, long term it's not sustainable to do that your glass card will break uh, what we're gonna do with this justice card is I want to break this five on purpose I want to get rid of anything that's not a king anything that's not a purple seal anything that's not gold all of that stuff I want to get rid of all of this noise even my spades here I want to get rid of and so let's try to break this five let's try it anyway well you know maybe we'll try again next time all right that was worth 80,000 points for that flush though you know it doesn't really matter what the hand is because most of the points are coming from the bowl all right so you know delayed gratification is very powerful gives you a lot of money you know with three discards we could get six dollars per round but we're using our discards for our purple seals so we don't need that i will be taking the crystal ball uh you know we've talked about already in this run several situations where uh, we're having awkwardness holding on to multiple tarot cards now uh it's a little bit easier now i've got more room um, I can go ahead and we'll do the Celestial Pack. This is the one that I want most, the Flush 5. Already up to 240 times 22. Red Seal I don't need. Strength is very good. Strength is going to allow me to turn my Queens into my Kings. Perfect. And we'll save the rest. Uh, rare joker I don't need 40 bucks here we'll talk about that we'll talk about that when we get there let's see here looking for my purple seals okay looking for maybe some Queens to turn into Kings and we get two tarot cards uh, because we got the crystal ball we can hold on to the strength card here incredible things are going great uh let's discard our jacks maybe hold on to spades maybe i don't need this king i don't need it right now anyway okay so queen i can go ahead and turn into a king but I don't have a second card for my strength card. So I'm going to hold on to the strength. I'm going to wait until I get two kings or two queens. Um, I don't need to decide yet. Let's see here. Uh, 
Let's play this flush. And we get the double money on our red seal gold card. Okay, uh, if we're looking at the boss here, boss says play only one hand. You know, I'm thinking about this matador. This matador says, you know, if you're on a boss that maybe debuffs your cards. If you play a debuffed card, this is gonna give you eight bucks. And so like, if you have uh, the suit debuff bosses, you know, debuffs all your hearts. Each hand that you play that has a heart, $8 each, that could give you up to, you know, $30, $40 in a round. So Matador, you know, could do a lot. Or against this type of boss, doesn't do anything, doesn't trigger. So on average, I think, you know, what we have already going is going to be better. Though, you know, I am thinking about it, considering it. All right, before we open the packs here, let's go ahead and make room for our hallucination. Get rid of the star, Arcana pack. Uh, I didn't get my queens. I don't have the sun I'm looking for to make my kings into hearts. So, if I don't need any of this, we'll turn the diamonds into spades. You know, since I got nothing else going on. Let's go diamonds, and then also the, might as well, five of hearts, six of clubs, doesn't really matter. Standard pack, before we do that, let's sell the tower. Um, I can use the chariot on my I'm out of gold seals, or sorry, uh, red seals. So I don't really need that. We'll find a use for it. Let's see here, we got a gold card, you know, potentially giving, or a gold seal card, potentially giving us more money. I think we're going to pass. You know, with the focus on our purple seals. Next round, okay. Do I want the economy tag? This is gonna give me 40 bucks, 40 bucks right away. Um, between all of the jokers that I have, I get about, and you know, if I get the reward money from doing the blind and I have the extra money from doing the hands, I get about uh, 25, 30 bucks, 30 bucks per round. So this is only $10 more than I would get from playing the round. Also, I skip my shop opportunity. So, you know, you pay five bucks to get a shop reroll. You know, basically I'm losing five dollars worth of value by skipping a shop. Except the shop is gonna also have booster packs that I can't get from just doing shop rerolls. So even though this is 40 bucks, we cannot. All right, uh, star, I don't need I can make room for this purple seal here actually what I'm gonna do is this king of hearts here I'm going to turn it into steel it does not need to be a wild card I can turn it into steel because uh, this is gonna be a card that um, you know most of the time I'm trying to discard uh, but in the end game, in the late game, if I'm making copies of this, I want to have a lot of extra steel cards. So we'll go ahead and do that. And everything else, uh, you know, let's just hold on to our spades. Chariot again. Okay. Let's discard these. And what do we got here? Okay, so we got the purple seal here. Let's make the queen of hearts, potentially king of hearts. Yeah, queens, now kings of hearts. King of hearts, now also steel. Okay. And maybe if I discard like this, or let's discard like that. 
I've got four spades. Uh, I can definitely get another one. Not that I need to, but I want to try to. There we go. Um, I want to try to so that I can do this, so that I can play all of my spades, all of my gold cards. Keeping track here, we've got 100,000 points, which means that's enough to beat this boss, that's enough to beat the next round, small blind and big blind. All right, huge X mult here from Hit the Road, you know, if we get a lot of jacks. Uh, even if you don't have that many jacks, you can still get this up pretty decently high. Uh, really, all I care about are going to be the uh, X mult on play and the re-triggering sock and buskin. So I don't need this. What I am looking for instead is more planet cards. All right, so out of habit, I keep looking at the, I don't need to look. Here's a level one Mercury, level one Venus. Let's take the Venus. Devil from the hallucination is great. We'll be able to use that. Uh, let's make room. Uh, here, level two, level two, it's Mercury or Pluto. We'll go ahead and do Mercury. And I think that leaves just, we've got two pair and a high card. Like I said, you know, you're not always going to get the satellite, but sometimes you do. Uh, other stuff here, eight ball has been changed. Eight ball gives you planet cards now. Uh, in the September demo version, it used to give you uh, tarot cards. And so instead of going for this King of Hearts stuff that I'm going for right now, I would go for eights, you know, make a whole deck of eights and then get more tarot cards. It was this sort of self enabling feedback loop. Uh, now eight ball giving you planet cards instead. It no longer has what I call this sort of self enabling property. Uh, I think this is good. I think it's a positive change. Um, I think this is still exciting to take sometimes, but not right now, not what we're currently trying to do. All right, against the needle boss here, we only play one hand, no problem. That's easy, that's what we've been doing. Um, so maybe let's make room. Uh, I am gonna save the devil. So whatever hand I do play, I wanna try to get you know the gold value here. Maybe something like this. Okay, we've got death. You can make an extra copy of a card. The card that I want to copy is purple seals. You know, tempting here. If I make another, you know, red seal gold card, that's going to give me money, but I can do that. I can turn a card into gold and then hit it with the death if I want. So let's do something like this. Doesn't matter. Okay, we've got another purple seal here. Do I want to use my death card right now to make the copy of the purple seal, or do I want to try to draw one of the other ones and then make a copy? Uh, it's close, it's tough, it's marginal. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Um, and if I am going to do it now, uh, I will make it gold before making a copy. And if I am gonna make a copy, the thing that I don't need is, I don't need these low spades anymore. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I've got these two purple seal cards. I am gonna discard them now, but in the future I could make more copies. And let's see here, I've got plenty of spades. I wanna be able to play these two spades together. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Strength, uh, I ha I did two of my queens already. I've got two queens left. So also I'm looking to turn jacks into kings. Here's one jack. Um, I only have the one, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Uh, but let's go ahead and play our spades. Uh, play this one. Does it doesn't matter because you know we get the three bucks whether we play it or whether we hold it. Um, trying to break this glass card. Nice. 
We're up to 130,000. Rocket's giving us $11 per round. All right, question. Do we take the telescope? So right now, the most played hand is going to be flush. And so if we get the telescope, every time we open a celestial pack, it's gonna have the uh, Jupiter planet card in the first slot. It's going to make it harder for us to get our flush fives. Now, do we wanna to try to play flush five every time? We could, but we wouldn't be getting as much money. So that's not what we're gonna to try to do. So we're gonna actually not take the telescope here. You know, before, if you wanted to go for high scores, you wanna get a lot of the same planet card, you wanna get the telescope to make that happen. We don't actually need to. Uh, if we have enough money, we'll be able to get plenty of planet cards. You do kind of get diminishing returns on your planet cards. You know, the difference between level two and level three is much bigger than the difference between level 22 and 23. So, you know, in the span of endless mode, however many rounds that we have, um, we could be patient with the planet cards. Fool giving us death here is huge, you know, so we can make more copies of those purple seal cards. Uh, the purple seal king of hearts, that's the thing that I most want to copy. So let's make some room here. I want to do it before opening the booster pack in case, you know, it gives me an, uh, another opportunity in case it shows up in this booster pack. Let's take a look. There it is, there's my red seal king. Sorry, I said purple is the one that I want. So maybe I don't wanna do this. Maybe what I wanna do is this six instead. Um, or we could be patient, we could wait. I'm gonna wait. Let's be patient here. So what do I wanna do with this? Uh, we could go sigil random suit. I don't need uh, I'm trying to go for hearts specifically and I already have a decent number of spades uh, Deja vu Okay, what do I want to hit here? Mm, doesn't really matter. Let's hit the king You know since I already have red seal kings All right, so let's go back We can take the Pluto, that's great. Temperance, giving us 14 bucks, that's perfectly fine. Now, some consideration for the Space Joker. You play a poker hand, chance to upgrade the poker hand. Play a flush five, chance to upgrade the flush five. Um, I think the just raw money power here is gonna be better for us, so we'll hold off on that. All right, uh, we know whatever hand is already going to be 140,000 points. So we got these three rounds we can one shot. No problems with scoring. Here is my purple seal king. That is the one. Let's make a copy. Nice. Discard, whatever. Lovers. Maybe. I'm gonna do it on this King of Hearts somewhat speculatively. So if we go to the collection, if we go to the Jokers here, one thing to keep in mind, one possibility is there, where is it? I don't, it's one of the newer ones, right? Here it is, the Ancient Joker, okay. So every round is gonna pick a random suit, so sort of even distribution between the different suits. And if you play that suit, you get 1.5 times on every card played. And so if I have a bunch of clubs here, then I get 1.5 times on all of those. That's great. This basically turns all my cards into polychrome cards. 
The problem is it's a random suit and you know you have no control over that. But if I have a wild card, wild card counts as every suit. And so if you've got wild cards, this will always be valid. This will always be active. And so previously in sort of the limited demo five antes, if I want to get the highest score within five antes, you make polychrome glass cards. Glass cards giving you that times two. With this, what we can do is, I don't want to make glass cards because I don't want to have my cards break and be destroyed on me. If I make polychrome wild cards, for one, wild cards that's going to give me a, a flush house easier um, for my, uh, where is it? For my bloodstone, for my hearts, okay, wild cards gonna give me hearts easier. Uh, for this ancient joker, if I have polychrome wild cards, now I get this extra 1.5 times on all of those. So that is a thing that we could be thinking about, that we could be going for. So between an extra $1 from selling it or I just use the wild card, let's just use the wild card and just see what happens. Uh, I will be picking up the money from the temperance before this. So remember, uh, if I have the temperance here and I generate a tarot card, it will not generate another temperance. So if I use the temperance first, it gives me a chance, small chance of getting another one. And we'll go ahead and discard like this. Mm. Let's hold on to the jack. Possibly I want to use this strength card. Maybe even now, let's use the strength card right away. Jacks and the queens, later queens and the kings. And then now we can discard. Death again, damn. So I could get one of these, king of hearts with the purple seal. Maybe, probably not, but maybe. Maybe something like that. Oh, well, I am going to save this. It is important enough to me to get my purple seals that I will save the death card. Which means here are my gold cards with the flush. Okay. Uh, celestial pack first. Maybe I'll get a tarot card from Hallucination. If not, that's okay. Eris planet card up to level four now. Arcana pack next. All right, so here's the, the situation. You know, here I can make with my purple seal card, the, this king I want to play this king because as a purple seal I want to discard I want to not play this card so that's you know kind of the consideration here the purple seal ones I don't want to play the ones that don't have purple seal I do want to play and so here you know I just went on this long rant about making these wild cards this one actually I'm going to turn into steel before making a copy so we'll have a mix we'll have some cards that we play uh, with the wild cards, some cards that we don't play with the steel cards. Uh, what am I getting rid of? Let's go ahead and get rid of one of these nines. All right, uh, what do we want to do here? Some options. I could make another lucky card, potentially using that for money every once in a while and temperance that's it you know not much happening here all right let's discard for tarot hanged man is great i can go ahead and drop these you know just trying to get rid of anything that's not a king anything that's not gold is gone E, this I want to discard king these I can discard there we go 
Hangman again, okay. Let's... I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Uh, do I wanna get rid of my spades? Hmm, maybe not. Oh well. All right, uh, let's get rid of these purple seal cards. Okay, wheel again, foil maybe. There it is, great. Not necessary, you know, bull already gives us 800 chips just on its own. Uh, but you know, a little bit here and there. Two hundred thousand points on the back of the bull alone. So here we go. Here we got our bloodstone. What do we want to get rid of for our bloodstone? You know, if this is going to be one of those high-scoring jokers, maybe could be, potentially. If this is what I'm looking to do, let's open the buffoon pack first. Uh, the plan is. I'm going to sell one of these. The thing that I'm going to sell is I'm going to sell the golden ticket. So the golden ticket gives you money if you play your gold cards, but you could just not play the gold cards and just hold them and then get money that way. So it's, you know, not really giving us extra money technically. So we don't really need the golden ticket. The reason why I was holding on to it is if I get one of those re-trigger jokers, then now it does give you extra money because it re-triggers the gold card when you play it. But we ended up not getting those, so I'm going to sell the golden ticket. And I'm going to pick up the bloodstone instead. And since I'm going to sell the golden ticket, I'm going to open the buffoon pack first. Because now, you know, here's, I don't want this stuff. Well, maybe now I do want this stuff. Maybe I want this business card. Golden ticket, gone. Business card, maybe. We must consider. So business card, one in two chance. Again, it's gonna have that kind of re-trigger effect, possible. Um, hmm. Golden Joker gives me four bucks. This gives me, you know, about five bucks on average for now. I'm not playing my face cards, not yet anyway. So short term, we'll stick with the Golden Joker um, and pick up this bloodstone so that we can start building towards our end game scoring All right All right in here this doesn't matter so you know let's do four of a kind flush 5 four of a kind is the next best thing Also I want to point out you know, I should have said something about this earlier. Um, I'm not going to play regular five of a kind at all because if I have five of a kind and I have flush five and also, you know, maybe have, uh, you know, flush house, the more hands you have unlocked, the less likely you are to find any specific planet card, right? Because there's just more cards added to the pool. And so we completely skip Five of a kind, we go directly to flush five, skipping five of a kind, so that we can keep, you know, the most density of uh, Eris cards. And then we'll go next round. All right, the wheel, uh, our cards are drawn face down, doesn't matter. Uh, if you want, you can sort by suit, and you can see here we've got our spades. Here we've got some kind of noise. You know, it'd be nice to be able to, uh, you know, hit it with the hangman. Maybe that's what I will do. Uh, you know, like ace and six here, we go ahead and hit it with the hangman. We got plenty of other spades in the deck, like this spade here. Uh, we've got more spades in an emergency situation. All right, uh, this we want to discard, this we don't need. Maybe I'll hold on to it in case I get some kind of interesting tarot card. And there we go. Fool. Hangman. Yeah, don't mind if I do. So what do we want to get rid of? 
you know, it feels bad to get rid of spades, but you know, we got to get rid of everything eventually anyway. Uh, we can get rid of hearts first. This 10, it's going to take some time to strength this up to a king. So probably that's not going to happen. I can go ahead and get rid of it now. Uh, king here, discarding. we got nine spades left. That's plenty of spades. we got the world as a backup. Actually, we dropped the golden joker, so I don't actually want to play these spades. Interesting. Uh, we did get the hermit. What do I want to do instead? I want to play my lucky card. Is that all I want to do? That's all I want to do. You know, so I could... There, I have no straight, I have no flush. We'll just play this lucky queen. $13 from the rocket. Okay, this voucher gives playing cards in the shop. Notably, these are not upgraded playing cards, they are plain playing cards. So instead of seeing jokers and tarot cards and planet cards, you'll start to see bland, useless playing cards. So I'm not going to take the magic trick here, uh, but I am going to keep on these standard packs looking for polychrome. Didn't get it. I don't need the steel cards. I have plenty of other steel cards and ways to make more steel cards. No problem. All right, this one's completely new here. We've got the black hole. Upgrades every poker hand. Uh, if you didn't know, this also upgrades, you know, the secret hands. So even though I haven't played any flush house, this upgrades my flush house in secret. You can't see it, but it happens. And we can go here, we can see they're all level three now. Even two pair was level one, now it's level two. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff here. Vagabond keeps coming around, but I've got plenty of tarot cards already and I wanna save my money. The boss needs 200,000 points. So if I go to my bull here, you know, let's say we get a thousand chips. Half of a thousand is 500, 500 squared is uh, 250,000 that is already enough to one shot any hand any hand will one shot this final boss also this final boss ability flips your jokers upside down and changes the order uh, the order of my jokers doesn't matter since this is the only one giving me points great so smooth sailing now all we got to do is worry about let's try to grind out as much value as we can value town let's go Fool for another hermit, sure. Uh, use the wheel first, then the hermit, in case we get another fool. I wanna copy a hermit. Uh, let's see here, we got another purple seal. Maybe I'll do something like this. Emperor. Ooh, another lucky card, okay. Maybe. Okay. This king, I'm gonna speculate. I'm gonna make it lucky just good. Uh, here, priestess, you know, maybe getting some more planet cards. We didn't, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to these as long as I can because as long as I'm holding on to them, uh, I won't get repeat planet cards. Um, I could play this flush here with my two uh, lucky cards, but uh, I would lose the money from the gold cards. So unfortunately we only get to play the one lucky card. Three hundred thousand. Okay, uh, another magician here. Chariot. If I want another steel card, I'm good on steel. 
Really, I don't need to be changing the cards that I have. Really, what I need to do is just make more copies of the cards that I have that are actually good. Um, before I open the standard pack, let's make some room. I want to try to hold on to the planet cards. No polychrome, no problem. Get rid of the star before we open the arcana pack. Hermit here for more money, no problem. Do I want this chariot? Do I want this magician? Eh. Yeah, let's get the lucky card. If it were a devil, if it were a gold card, it'd be a slam dunk. Mmm, let's see here. Purple seal, I need to make rooms. Let's go ahead and make a lucky card. Let's make this ace lucky. You know, those spades, all those lucky spades. Maybe we'll try our best to hold on to it. Magician, I can make another lucky card. Sure, why not? I'm really never going to play this four of clubs. So as awkward as it is, unfortunately, I'm going to sell the magician. I know I just paid three bucks to buy a magician, uh, but you know I'm really not going to use it here. I want these purple seal cards to give me tarot cards. Maybe something like that. Now, Magician again. Fool for another Magician. Fool we can save. You know, maybe we get a death card later that I want to copy. Uh, magician I can go ahead and use now on my spades. Look at how lucky all of my spades are. Maybe do something like this. Cool. Here's the lucky ones. Here's the other ones. And we got some leftover gold cards. Okay, looking at the next shop here, you know, we've got other chips jokers where we got that covered with the bull. Um, let's go Arcana first. Looking for some way to use my fool. So I don't need the wool. I don't need the world. Aha! Son. I can make all of these kings into hearts. Unfortunate. Uh, what I can do is I could turn these other things into hearts. The six I'm going to leave on spades. Am I? I think we can start trying to transition these into hearts. I can use my fool to make more hearts if I want. Celestial pack. Looking for Eris. Didn't get it. These don't matter. Right now my fool could give me a copy of the sun. So actually here I'm going to skip. Alright, boss time. What cards do I want to make hearts still? Okay, this I want to make hearts. You know, maybe this special king I want to make hearts. All of these kings of clubs. Yeah, that's fine. So let's do this. We'll get the sun, sell the Neptune so we've got room here. We can discard the kings that are already hearts. Discard our spades. E chariot do I need? For example, this king. Sure. Judgment I don't need. Fool I can use to make more hearts. Maybe let's do this. Discard one purple seal. I've got two discards left, so we'll do 
Discard the ones that are already hearts. Got another magician. Okay. Three kings, now hearts. Fool, more hearts, right? I got more kings, I got more hearts. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, this jack of hearts. Maybe I want to play a jack of hearts. These three... Do I want the extra tarot card? Yeah, let's do it. These three, let's turn into hearts. I'll hit the other kings later. I'm still looking for my polychrome card. The polychrome card, I'm going to turn into hearts and then, you know, make copies of anyway. So it doesn't matter super much that I convert these, because these I'm probably going to get rid of long term. All right. Uh, use the hermit. Uh, do I want to make a steel card? Why not? Empress, we can hold on to. All right, what kind of, what kind of, we got the lucky cards here. There we go. We did all our hearts. Just like that, all of these spades now hearts. Cool. And there we go, we've done it. We've won our first run of the full game with $600 here. Uh, now, it's time to go endless. Thirty-four bucks. Nice. Okay, this is huge. Clearance sale makes things cheaper. Absolutely, I'll take that. Golden ticket now. Yeah, we don't need it. We've, uh, like I said before, if we don't play the gold cards, we get money from not playing them, so we don't really need the golden ticket. Though it is borderline. We're getting to the point where. We have so many special cards, so many cards that we potentially want to have in our hand that you know we're not able to hold that many gold cards. If we had more of these, you know, red seal cards with the gold that I wanted to play, you know, I want to play this six, I want to play this king, then this could be worth it if we had more gold cards. But for now, not quite there. Buffoon pack, just a peek. There we go, we got the Baron. So we've got, we did all this work, we did all this work to get these kings of hearts. Now the Baron gives us 1.5x on all of our kings. The ones that we hold in hand. So, you know, normally, you know, let's say you've got your hand size is eight, you play five cards, you hold on to three kings, 1.5 times each, that's about, you know, 3.7 times altogether that's okay we could do better you know we have if we go look at the collection here the where is it the mime joker mime joker is going to re-trigger all your held in hand abilities so for example all of your kings that you hold in hand re-trigger all of those all of your steel cards re-trigger all of those uh, if your kings and your steel kings are also red seal cards, okay, that's going to give you even more triggers. And so that's kind of a way to get, you know, sort of this end game high scoring. You know, we also have the voucher, the paintbrush gives us plus one hand size. There's another version of this voucher that gives you plus one hand size again. And so with this larger and larger hand size, you know, a joker that gives you hand size as well, you can get a lot of score from holding cards rather than playing cards. So I'm into this. I'm into this king. I'm into this baron here. So what do we want to get rid of? All right, let's, you know, Rocket's already giving me 15 bucks. Golden Joker only four bucks. Let's switch over to the, get rid of the golden joker um i do want to keep the hallucination we're doing great with the tarot cards so i want to keep that happening we will get to a point where we have so many purple seals that i get so many tarot cards already i don't need extras so like for example here another purple seal card 
I already have a decent number of purple seal cards. The question is, do I want another one? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say at this point, we are trying to get all of our cards to be kings. So I'm not going to add any non-kings to the deck. We took some earlier, but now we've got the engine is fully online. So we don't need any more purple seals. We just want polychrome cards eventually. Okay, let's discard looking for more tarot cards. Maybe something that looks like that. Got the death here. Death copying purple seal with the steel card. That's what we want. And we got plenty left in the deck. So we'll hold on to this death card. E these lucky cards. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to play the spades, but I might be able to play the hearts. Okay, let's try again. Show me that king. Fancy king. There we go. This is an especially fancy king. Uh, I do need to sacrifice a little bit here. Um, I think the aces, I think the ship has sailed on the aces. Um, and I think we're done doing spades. So we'll go ahead and make this ace of spades into this king. And since it's got a purple seal now, we got more purple seals, we're going to get more tarot cards. Incredible. Let's play our lucky cards. Let's play, you know, just for science here. If I hold on to these kings, let's see how, how much that does. So we've got, you know, let's pay attention here. We get the bloodstone times two on these hearts. King uh, or the baron giving us uh, X molt on our held kings. And then this red seal triggering at an additional time. For just a flush. All right, so it, you know, it happened kind of fast there, but we are at the point now where we got about a thousand molt on that which means finally finally we've reached the point where our molt is higher than our chips bull giving us 1200 chips we've got even higher than that amount of molt which means i no longer need the bull i can sell the bull i can start you know investing in more money so, you know, if I want to get 300,000 points, I can do that with just these. Standard effect. Priestess, uh, you know, potentially another king here. It's a gold king. You know, that's awfully tempting. But I think we'll be all right. We already got all our kings in hearts. Let's keep it that way. Before we open the Arcana Pack, let's make room for the Hallucination. Another death card, another uh, purple king, no problem. Uh, we could make gold cards if we want to get more money. Uh, I think we're transitioning now into, we're going to get the big score. I should have used the priestess. I should have used the priestess first because if we get a fool, we want to copy death. We don't want to copy uh, this planet. Not necessarily. Uh, okay, I just said we don't need this bull anymore. So do I want to replace the bull with more money? You know, with a golden ticket, perhaps. Maybe. I don't think it's going to make that big a difference. So I'm going to hold. I'm going to wait until potentially we get a better offering. All right, let's make room here. We got so many purple seals now. Really, really lucky, really incredible. We got the crystal ball, though, you know, when we reach, you know, anti nine or 12 or 15, you're gonna get more and more vouchers. So you'll get the good stuff eventually. Just have a little patience. All right, so we got the strength. We can turn this queen uh, into a king. 
you know, maybe I'm looking at also, I have a jack. I have some kings, queens of spades. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this strength for now. E yeah. So we've got the purple seal here. There's the purple one. We've got the kings. We've got the, this stuff we don't need. I want to try to play my lucky cards for money. So we'll go ahead and throw away the other cards. Hierophant, I definitely don't need. Okay, here we go. Queen. And let's go queen here. Uh, the gold one, that's going to be the one that I hold in hand. And so the hold in hand one, that's going to be the king. Okay. Mm. Those are hearts. That's more hearts. If I want to play the flush, if I want to play these lucky cards, I have to do this. I miss out on six bucks. The reward is I play my lucky cards. Each of these on average worth a little bit more than a dollar. Not worth it, unfortunately. So we'll play just one of them. How about the queen? Why not? Again, let's see, you know, how big we get the bolt numbers. Uh, what was that? Like 500 or something like that? Wait, maybe that was misleading. Maybe that 500 came from the bull, probably. All right. So there, playing a high card, we ended up only getting 500,000 ish you know which is how much we need to beat the boss here the boss here debuffing all of our spades so that's something to consider you know i just said this thing about being able to sell the bull i think that's true i think you can sell the bull uh if you do play the flush five flush five is going to be worth enough points but maybe you know some reason to hold on to the bull is i don't have to play a flush five i can play just high card and i can hold all of these gold cards potentially getting more money by not playing eris is great here celestial pack looking for another eris just like that death card here is huge standard pack Let's make room. Okay. <laughs> it's that gold king again. Uh, we don't need the gold king. What's the boss do again? Sorry. Uh, debuffs all the spades. Okay, no problem. So. I'm trying to decide if I want this business card. Or this golden joker. I think we'll go one more. I think we'll go one more with the bull. Oh man, look at all these. You know, for example, this 10 really would rather be a king. Okay. Spades I don't need. Wild card I don't need. Here goes three kings. Maybe we'll do that. Death again. Yeah, don't mind if I didgeridoo. Uh, do I want to make another king? Yeah. Do I want to use the fool to make another death? Also, yeah. All right, now we're cooking. Gold card. Do I want to make my steel card into a gold card? for more money kinda maybe the ship has sailed on that maybe it's too late you know we're gonna need them scoring numbers yeah maybe I'll do something like this just the two discard the two all right uh, wheel of fortune empress I don't need gold card do you want to make a gold card do you want to make a jack into gold yeah sure why not get rid of these spades get rid of sorry get rid of these kings death again okay let's 
this king here and make it into gold. This eight can go ahead and do I want the re-trigger one or do I want the purple seal one? Let's go, what I really want is this to be steel instead of gold, but maybe that's okay. Let's do another purple seal one. I think we're good on purple seals. We went a little bit crazy with the purple seals. Uh, we've got so many purple seals now. I think now we're good on those. So I'm gonna start in the future. In the future, I'm gonna start making more gold cards if we get the opportunity, or I'm still looking for my polychrome card. So here's, what is this garbage? This is, doesn't matter. I want to preserve my gold cards. This should be, yeah, I was gonna say about 500,000. That's what we got for the last one. Blank voucher. So interesting thing about the blank voucher, you know, on its own doesn't do anything, or at least that's what it advertises. But if we look at the vouchers here, Upgraded blank voucher that's going to give us a plus one joker slot. So again, you know extra joker slot extra scoring potential there Let's uh, buffoon pack just a peek uh, We can also you know by the way if we go to the blinds here, we just beat the boss here uh, So I'm not able to see what the next round looks like but if I go to my collection if I go to blinds here the next one uh, is going to be seven minutes. So I got to get seven million points. The bull is no longer going to cut it. It's not going to give me seven million on its own. Give me about 500,000. So now we really got to do uh, our king stuff. We really got to do our flush five stuff. Just a heads up. All right, we got the chariot. Uh, we've got another king of hearts. Do I want another King of Hearts? Mm, I got plenty of other action going on. Let's... Hmm, trying to decide when I want to start re-rolling and I think the answer is not yet. I want to wait until I get a Spectral Pack before I re-roll because you know there's going to be a Spectral Pack that may be you know, it gives me ectoplasm for an extra joker slot. Maybe there's gonna be uh, Ankh giving me a copy of a joker. And so we'll save our money for those situations. Uh, for now, I do want this emperor, so let's make some room. There we go, more death, no problem. One million points, wait a second. Did I read that incorrectly? I totally did. Here we are. Anti-10, 500,000. Doubled, because this plasma deck is doubled, to 1 million. Uh, Bull's still not going to do it. That's okay. All right, we got the kings here. So if it's not a king, now it is. There we go. Uh, we got the chariot here. So you know what, this one, we can turn that one into steel. I don't need the empress. Let's make some room. I'm gonna to try to go for the flush five. I got I got a ton of kings now, right? If I go here, uh, I've got 10, 10 king of hearts. So if we discard three of them, no problem finding more. And sun here, if I need to make more kings of hearts. Okay, we can discard, if it's not a king, we can discard it. Okay. Mm uh, gold card, do I wanna make a gold card? Sure, why not? Do I wanna make my king into a lucky card? Well, 
you know, we said with the ancient Joker, you know, we possibly interested in getting the ancient Joker. And so if I turn this into uh, a lucky card, it won't be wild anymore. But, you know, we've demonstrated we've got a lot of potential here to get lots of tarot cards. So, you know, I don't have any doubts I'll be able to find uh, more lovers tarot cards later if I want. Let's open this Emperor first. Sun is fine. Yeah, let's make this king lucky. How many more do I have? Uh, I've still got nine left in the deck. Wait a second, is that true? Yeah, it seems like it. Uh, justice card. You know, maybe I'll turn this seven into glass. I'm gonna discard it now, but you know, maybe in the future we could play it and then try to break it. Uh, I am gonna discard, well, yeah, let's do it this way. Discard the jack, and then that way, this seven, maybe try to break it. Okay. Judgment, I don't need. So if I do this, this is my flush five. That's definitely enough points. What if I don't do that? What if I play my flush instead? You know, or maybe I could play this queen. I think we'll test the waters. Let's try the flush five. You know, it's gonna use up our gold card, which is sad, of course, but yeah, let's give it a try here. That's a million points. Barely. Ah, here we go. This is it. This is the now we're now we're good. Now we got the technology. So Seltzer, that's gonna give us uh, you know, re-trigger all of our kings. Uh the ones that we play. So it's gonna re-trigger the bloodstone, you know, potentially getting more X molt from our Kings of Hearts. So let's do that. Do I want to get rid of this bull? Mm, maybe. Uh, here, if I have my flush five is, you know, 500 base or 400 base, then this bull gives me three times that amount. This bull is acting like a times four molt joker. This is times four. So is this seltzer going to be better than a times four? Uh, I think on average, it's going to be less than that. Though, you know, if I pick up other jokers that complement this, it could be worth more than that. And so, you know, do I need this hallucination if I'm getting so many tarot cards from my purple seal cards? Probably not. Probably I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to drop the hallucination instead. Uh, Eris here. But, you know, long term, if we get our flush five up to, you know, let's say a thousand chips base then this bull is less important here doesn't matter so i'm going to skip you know you always got to look out for if we get a fool potentially hallucination i said i'm going to swap out for the seltzer okay we're on this ace, I can make glass, this sun. I have this king that's already a, a wild card. I have two kings here that I potentially want to hit. This sun, isn't it? Let's do this. So since I already have you know, plenty of cards to discard here. Maybe I'll do something like keep the king, do something like that, or maybe do something like this. Uh, I don't need to discard three purple seals every time. Good thing that we didn't because we drew our kings here and we can even hit a jack. 
And then now the only other king is already wild. All of our kings are hearts. Great. So I don't feel bad about throwing these away. And throwing the rest of these away. Do I want to remove some cards with the hanged man? Probably. 10 here. I think the ship has sailed on the 9. Do I want, uh, you know, for this red seal card, I can make it lucky if I want. It'll get the re-trigger. Then king, I want to discard. Jack, I want to try to replace with a king. Nice. So what are we trying to do here? Here's a king, there's a king, here's another king. I want to try to keep the steel ones for points. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe I don't need that many points. So maybe something like this. Flush five. With the re-triggers, uh, this should be fine. And then we can get the extra money here. I don't need to do it this way. Again, five million points. It was closer than it might seem, you know, uh, with these times twos, you know, this one in three chance, you know, half of this is 2.5 million. Half of this again is less than this 1.6 million. So, you know, if we were just two uh, times twos away from not making it. All right, here we've got uh, again, let's take a look at the buffoon pack. You know, some different scoring options here. Constellation, you know, one of these infinitely scaling, you know, more and more X molt. Uh, it's not going to be as impactful, not going to grow as fast as what we've got going on already. More Eris cards taking us up to level 10. What are we looking at next? Next we've got uh, 2 million points. We could do 2 million points. We don't need to buy anything. Minus 1 hand size, no problem. Show me 3 tarot cards. Chariot. If I want, for example, I could do the red steel card yeah red steel um i don't really need the red gold card because i've got you know the rocket giving me 17 dollars per round already wheel of fortune nope that's okay uh devil might as well use it on the four sure why not Hermit, sure. Lovers, we can get later. We don't need that right now. One more discard, maybe if I do something like this. A glass card, mm, the ship has sailed on those. We're not gonna be able to play slash break our glass cards, I don't think. That's okay. All right, what does it look like? You know, if I really wanted to play it safe, I could play these trying to draw more kings, but then my seltzer will go away faster. So I think what we'll do is something like this. There are our kings with the red steel card. So, you know, there, claim, claim we got somewhat lucky there. We got somewhat lucky. Uh, we got the 200 million instead of just the 2 million. Maybe not that lucky, but, you know. Grabber is going to give us plus one hand. For me, that's plus one dollar. This is plus one interest. If I have, uh, you know, one extra hand, give me one extra dollar. Buffoon pack. Spectral pack. Okay. Question. Do I use the cryptid 
to make more red steel kings that's going to be my big scoring guys is the red steel kings or do i use the immolate to try to get rid of some of this noise and get 20 bucks Let's take a look at the deck here we i mean we've only got 38 cards in the deck we've got plenty of you know, let's say all of these kings die. Let's say I lose this red steel king. I have another red steel king. I have a red gold king that I can turn into steel. I have plenty of other purple seal kings. So, you know, it might seem somewhat counterintuitive, but actually here, I think what we want to do is we want to emulate. I am, this whole time, I'm still looking for a... Um, polychrome card and when I do get my polychrome card um, I want it to be you know relatively few cards in my deck so it's easier to find that polychrome card so I am going to take the emulate here some consideration for making more of these red steel cards but I think with the help of our tarot cards we can make more red steel another different way whereas like emulate is very powerful and we did lose the red steel, but we do have another backup. Times four from the family. We don't need that. 14 million. Ah, oh, shoot. Maybe we do need it. We get 14 million. How do we get 14 million? We discard these. Maybe we discard this way. Three tarot cards. Um, priestess giving us, let's go temperance first, heiress second, should have sold that planet card, oops, um, do discard these kings looking for more different kings, we've got the sun if I wanted to turn this into hearts, sure why not, these planet cards I don't need, Okay. Gold cards? Nah, no more gold cards. I don't really need to sell these now. I could wait until after the shop, um, but out of habit, I just kind of do that. So here's, there are my kings. Here's my red steel card here with the re-triggers. We should get it. There's always a chance that we don't, but we should get it. Ooh, 13 million, not quite 14 million. That's brutal. That's okay. This will do it. And, you know, lucky us, we drew all these gold cards. See, that's the thing with this bloodstone. If you got a lot of triggers, if you do it a lot of times, you know, on average, it'll balance out. It'll, you know, give you what you need but it does have a little bit of variance. Sometimes a little bit lower, sometimes a little bit higher. Buffoon pack. All right, Fool can give me a high priestess. Spin the wheel, maybe getting more scoring that way. Let's go priestess. And if I don't like these planet cards, I can pick up this priestess and get some different ones. All right. Now, I think we are going to reroll. You know, there we didn't get the 15 million or the 14 million or whatever it is. So, you know, maybe we could have some struggles getting these next couple rounds here. So let's look for some more scoring. Strength card. I don't need... A uh, fool for another priestess. I guess it doesn't have to be a priestess, so we'll pick that up. Glass Joker is going to pay you when your glass cards break. Temperance. I can use my fool to get another 10 bucks here, 11 bucks here. Bootstraps. All right. 
Is that what I want? So here's kind of the funny thing about these fellas here. The Bloodstone and the Baron, all of this happens before your Jokers are factored in. And so if you get up to, you know, a thousand, two thousand molt before this applies, then maybe this doesn't do as much as you think it's going to do. You know, if I've got, you know, let's say a thousand bucks, then Bootstraps is going to give me 400 molt. And the question is, how much does 400 molt compare to how much I'm already getting from these guys? You know, if I get up to 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 molt, then 400 extra is maybe not that much compared to if the bull is giving me 1,700 chips on top of a base of 600, then, you know, that's almost uh, three times Joker, or it's like a four times. So, actually it turns out that bootstraps is not gonna help us. Uh, I could take this though, Temperance. Let's re-roll, looking for more. You know, I could get this Faceless Joker, it gives me $5 when I discard three face cards. You know, if I discard my three Purple Sealed Kings, so, you know, I could be looking to maybe replace my rocket. Uh, if this is three, five dollars per discard times three discards, this is less money than my rocket. Let's keep rolling here. What am I looking for? I'm looking for sock and buskin. I'm looking for, you know, those re-trigger type effects. Chariot, make another steel card, make my, uh, you know, gold card into a steel card. That could be something that I'm interested in, so maybe I'll pick that up. There we go, that's the Saga Busket. So if I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to be re-triggering all of my face cards, you know, doing all of my Bloodstone stuff again, then maybe I don't need... I want to keep the rocket for the money that it provides. Mm, maybe in Anti-11, maybe it's getting a little late. Maybe it's, we don't have room for the rocket anymore, as powerful as it is. Maybe we just got to give up on that one. So let's go Saga and Buskin. And here the Troubadour. Troubadour is going to give you plus two hand size. More hand size means more kings and more steel cards and red seal steel cards so i'm going to ditch the rocket pick up the troubadour now we should be have some decent scoring i would assume i would guess uh the rest of my money i'm going to save it you know every time you re-roll it costs more and more money to re-roll so it's better to sort of spread out your re-rolls do a little bit here a little bit there um so we're going to save our money and re-roll in the next shop you know, potentially looking for a blueprint or brainstorm to copy my jokers. Um, or one joker that we haven't talked about yet is the idol. So the idol, it's going to give you, it picks a card. It says the card changes every round. It picks a card from your deck. It cannot pick a card that's not in your deck. So if our deck is almost entirely kings of hearts, it will you know, randomly select a card. Maybe it selects the King of Hearts. This says every time you play your King of Hearts, times two molt on all of them. You know, essentially the same type of thing as if they were all glass cards. So this is the end game. This is what we're looking for, uh, this uncommon idol here. Now, in order for that to work 100%, I need to get rid of everything that's not a King of Hearts. So we've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cards out of thirty-three, about a third of our deck. So we still got some work to do. But that is the end game. One hundred percent King of Hearts. Picking up the Emperor here to maybe help make that happen. Alright, what do we want to do? Let's go the steel card. I said I wanted to turn the red seal and steel uh let's hit the king i'm saving this fool for death just like that just like we drew it up 
So if I want here this king, death, fool, death again, discard looking for more tarot cards. And yeah, that's fine. Judgment I don't need. Let's make some room. Discarding for more tarot cards. Hangman is great. So even though these sixes would normally give me tarot cards, you know, I have some incentive to get rid of them. Use my hangman right now. Um, but I'm still gonna try to get, you know, I've got the five of hearts, seven of spades, nine of diamonds. I'm gonna wait, but you know, we could. Which means I gotta make room. Let's, if I want to play it safe here so that I don't die, I would keep all of my kings, but I'm gonna go, you know, I have now these are red steel kings and I've got all this, all my jokers here, I should be fine. Nine and seven, good thing we held on to that hangman. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, now, how do we wanna slice this? Let's go play the gold ones, play those. Um, I think I don't need to play the all of the gold ones. I'll do something like that. I'm greedy. You know, I'm not gonna do the math, but I think I think we'll be fine. If we're not fine, we're gonna draw five more kings and then, it, then it'll be fine. Uh, let's give it a try. Let's see what the end game scoring looks like. Oh yeah, he said we'd be fine. All right. All the stuff we did before now was just playing around. Now the game actually begins. Now we're hitting the, uh, you know, not quite there, but almost trillions of points. Uh, we don't have the hallucination anymore, so it doesn't really matter what order we do things. I don't need that stuff. Uh, strength, I don't need, let's go hermit. Always want more money. Now, we said we want to spread out our rerolls. You know, we don't want to do all our rerolls at once. Um, do I, you know, if I am rerolling, what am I actually going to buy? You know, there's no point in spending all the money if I'm not gonna actually gonna buy anything. Um, this bloodstone, I'd like to, you know, it gives me the X molt on all of my hearts, but I could do better. I could replace this with you know, like we said, the idol, we could replace it with uh, the ancient Joker. Um, this is one in three chance. Ancient Joker is 100% chance um, on whatever the selected suit is. So that's like an option that I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for the Dusk as like another of these re-trigger Jokers. Maybe I'm looking for Brainstorm and Blueprint to copy these effects. Um, looking for the idol. Specifically the idol, that's the most important one. So with that in mind, yeah, there's plenty of things worth re-rolling for. So how much do we want to re-roll? I said we want to spread out our re-rolls, maybe like five to 10 times. So if I take this $800 and if I divide by, you know, maybe I want to get there in six rounds. So $800 divided by six rounds, how much money is that? Whatever, you know, let's re-roll five or six times. Let's go once. I don't need any of this. So, you know, between the juggler and the troubadour here, troubadour gives you, you play one less hand each round, but we're one-shotting anyway. So I'd rather, you know, I don't need the extra hand. Eris, no problem. This... Mars, I am going to buy, and you know, this is the thing where as long as I have this, I can't get duplicate planet cards. So, you know, makes it more likely for me to get the one that I want. None of this stuff. 
Uh, if this were, you know, a different point in the game, you know, the hiker with all of these re-triggers, you know, now hiker buffed from the previous demo version was plus two chips, now plus four. You know, this can get really big really fast. Uh, you know, there's big chip numbers, but, and, you know, once it gets big, then you're re-triggering and it gets, you know, even bigger or, or, or whatever, you know. Uh, but, you know, for our base amount, you know, already 600 chips, it's gonna take us a lot to get it to where it's actually a meaningful increase. So it's too late, too late for the hiker, but you should consider this for uh, earlier on uh, in a different run. I don't need any of this. All right, how much was that? That was like five, re 10 rerolls, you know, cost us about a hundred bucks here. So we're gonna stop there, we're gonna save, you know, let's do a hundred bucks each time. Uh, another chariot here, sure, why not? Ah, this one's a stinker. This one, you play a poker hand, it decreases the level before it scores. So, you know, here we got the level 12, flush five will become level 11. If you get this early, if you get this in, you know, anti two or three, devastating. You know, if you're at the situation of your build where you need to play two hands in order to win, then this will cripple you, you will die. Uh, but at this point, since we're already up to level 12, you know, it's not that big a deal. You know, I could try to get around it by playing a flush instead of a flush five. Mm, I'm not feeling super confident about that. Or, you know, even four of a kind instead of flush five. Um, I think just to play it safe, we'll go for the extra scoring. This gold card, now a red steel card. Perfect. Two tarot cards from these kings. Uh, no more gold. That's okay. Make room for these purple seals. All right, we got the hangman. We got a queen here. We've got these guys here. Left over. I've got the one queen. I've got the six. I've got the five that I could draw into. Since I already have these three purple seals, I don't need an extra one. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these here. Hangman. Like we said, for the idol, it picks a random card in your deck. You want it to be king of hearts 100% of the time. So even though it's gold, even though it's a purple seal six, uh, we wanna get rid of it because it's not a king. At the end of the day, it's, it's just not a king. All right, unfortunate the fool is not gonna copy our hanged man. That's okay. We'll hold on to the fool. It could be another death card like last time. Um, yeah, do I need to get rid of these kings? What am I drawing into? Yeah, I'll just hold on to these kings. All right, Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, Play the kings. Now, with these red seal cards, if I play it, I have one in three chance from the blood stone. If I hold it, I have the guaranteed 1.5 from the baron. So it is better to hold the red seals and play the regular ones. So maybe something like this. Ah, perfect. We got another plus one interest here from the Nacho Tong. We've got uh, another death card here to go with our fool. Perfect combo. Uh, so, you know, when we re-roll, you'll get tarot cards as you're re-rolling. And so I'm gonna open the Arcana pack first, trying to use my tarot cards so that I can re-roll into more different ones. All right, there's my red steel king. 
So if it's not a king, now it is. And there's another one. And here's the hermit. Quick deck check here, we've got four cards. Four cards are not kings. That's, uh, you know, either, you know, however many death cards or two hangman will do it. Buffoon pack, invisible joker. Okay, this is interesting. You know, could give us a copy of whatever kind of re-triggering jokers that we have. So, or you know, if I get a brainstorm or if I get a blueprint, this is gonna be very important. This is gonna be highly desirable. You know, if I copy like my Baron, for example. So, what are we getting rid of? Well, the Seltzer is kind of a ticking clock here. You know, it's only working for the next four hands. The Troubadour gives us the plus two hand size, which gives us, you know, the extra steel and the extra uh, kings for the Baron. So this Seltzer, right now, the only thing that this is doing is it's giving me the Bloodstone. And the Bloodstone is only one in three chance. So out of five cards, you know, it's going to be about four times Molt. So this Seltzer is 4x Molt right now. I can sell this safely, no problem. And since I sell it, now I have an opportunity to potentially get another one. All right, now if we go, let's see here. I don't need this. I'm gonna take this temporarily. We got a ton of money to burn, so I'm gonna hold this to again, block the duplicates. Fool here for another hermit or I could try to get another death card. Let's just go straight into a hermit. I feel fine with that. Pick up these planets for the block. Damn, we got the death card. Now I feel silly for doing the hermit. But, you know, there's 22 tarot cards, so, you know, you're not always gonna get the death, and so, you know, maybe it's worth it to do the hermit right away. Let's make room for our death card. Uh, I'm going to re-roll until it says $15. That's going to be 10 re-rolls. So here's one more. Let's see here. Don't need any of this. Don't need any of this. Bull coming back around. So again here, you know, it would be uh, times three bull, but we've already got all this other stuff going on. Hermit, no problem. Another chariot for another steel card. I still have a few kings that are not yet steel cards. Sure, why not? And strength. Strength would potentially, I could turn my queen, my jack into kings. Uh, I think we'll take care of it with death, maybe. Uh, I'm not really using this anyway. I'm gonna buy this and watch. I'm gonna sell this immediately. So if I go into the next round, 600 million should be no problem. We did sell the seltzer. So we do have, you know, a little bit less power than we had before, but let's go chariot here, make another steel card, make another red steel king. Strength card, I, if I had drawn the queen, I would have used it. But since I didn't draw the queen, I'm gonna sell it. It's Buy it for two bucks, sell it for one dollar. So, you know, that's one thing that's really powerful about this. You know, it says it's only 25% off, but for the tarot cards, it reduces the price from three down to two, and they sell for one. So you can very easily just buy and sell stuff, trading them in and out without really costing you that much. So this is very powerful. Uh, I want to discard here. Yeah, we can go ahead and I'm going to do it this way. Just so that I have a better chance of drawing my red seal ones. Death card. Great. Probably should have used the emperor first. Is that true? Well, 
Emperor has a chance of giving me another death card, so maybe I use it first. And then I use the Emperor after. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Alright, discarding again. I'm going to discard this one, but I'm going to keep the red seal ones. 12 bucks from Temperance, no problem. One more discard here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the six, and we can keep the rest. Full for Temperance, 12 bucks. Mm, we could do better than 12 bucks. So we'll hold on to the Fool, and we'll play. If it doesn't have a red seal, we're going to play it. And maybe something like that. This should be plenty. And there we go. That is our first trillion points of the new version of the game. Uh, probably this the the first first, as in I got the first one out of everybody. All right, let's see here. We've got. Arcana pack. So now I'm in a situation where I want to re-roll first, looking for a death card. If I get the death card, I'll open the Arcana pack after. Because uh, right now, if I open the Arcana pack, I don't really care about these to use them. So we're going to wait. Uh, standard pack, we are looking for that Polychrome card. Didn't happen. That's okay. I don't, you know, I think it's too late. I think it's not going to happen for this run. But that is something that we're looking for in general in the future. All right, let's do some rerolls here. Uh, this is very powerful. This campfire here. So this gains X molt. You know, every time you sell a card, it does reset every ante. You know, when you beat the boss, but it does grow pretty fast. And so if we have our deck is full of these purple seal cards, every discard I get three tarot cards. And then I sell them and that's, you know, 1.5 X. Well, it adds together. And so, you know, with three discards, that's 4.5 total. If I do that over three rounds, that's, you know, 13.5 already. If I include, you know, however much stuff that I'm buying and selling in the shop, that's, you know, I can get up to 20 times molt. I can get up to 40 times molt with this campfire. And so, you know, we said this Bloodstone, without any retriggers, this is on average about times four. With the retrigger from Sock and Buskin, now it's giving me times eight. Or wait, it's giving me times four and then another times four. Except, you know, here this is times four for this one Joker slot. Here this Joker slot is adding times four, so it's times four here, times four there. I could sell both of these and replace them with a Campfire. Campfire would do more. Mm, can the same be said about Baron? Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. I think the Bloodstone has... I think we're done on the Bloodstone. I think we're going to go in on Campfire. Alright, if that's the case... So the thing about Campfire is you don't need to go crazy with trying to build it up you know like with this hierophant here i could sell this just to buy it just to sell it and then you don't need to do that uh but this late in the game you know in anti 12 and we're trying to beat you know whatever the uh boss here is uh this is already a billion points that i need here i do want to get this up to what did i call it uh, you know times four or actually, you know with the red seals with the re-triggers on all of our kings You know actually it's times 16 or whatever. So, you know, I do want to get it up a little bit high here Let's see here. So if I want to build up this campfire not that we have to necessarily but if I wanted to this is how you would do it uh, Eris I want to use Chariot I can buy 
And then so you can see as we're going through the shop and we're just like buying and selling random stuff. Every time I buy a card for two and I sell it for one, it's a net loss of one. You spend one dollar. So maybe if I spend, you know, ten dollars, that's already times five molt. Uh, and so that's, again, you know, part of the power of this clearance sale voucher. The upgraded version of this, by the way, uh, reduces the cost again so that all consumables cost one dollar. They cost one, they sell for one, so it's all free. Buy and sell for free. You know, it'd be neat if we could get that. Uh, here's a bunch of good stuff. We could sell this, buy this. All right, I'm about to show you some nasty stuff. Uh, do I need this chariot? Yeah, I guess. DNA? Mm, too late for DNA. Aha, we've done it. This is the technology. All right, forget about the bloodstone. Bloodstone only one in three chance. This 100% chance. All your kings times two every time. So, now what do I get rid of? Well, I've got the Invisible Joker, so if I can survive for enough rounds and I can get another copy of this idol, that'd be pretty dope, to be honest. So maybe that's the thing that I'm trying to do. You know, if I've got five kings times two on all of them, this one Joker is times 32. You know, I said I can get my campfire up to like times 40. Well, this is bigger. This is better. Um, with the Sock and Buskin re-trigger on all of my kings, that's going to be another times 32 on top of all of that. Red seals times 32 on top of all of that. So, okay, this is definitely worth more than... Mm, I'm gonna sell the Troubadour. So, we're, let's see here. We've got the plus one hand size from the paintbrush. We're on hand size nine. So, if I play five cards, I have four cards left over. So, if my four cards left over are my Red Seal Steel cards. Selling the Troubadour, sorry, four cards plus Troubadour, that's six cards. So out of my six cards here, selling Troubadour takes me down to four. You know, I lose about, you know, two thirds or, or one third of my leftover cards. Whereas if I sell my Baron instead, then I lose, you know, 50% of my scoring. You know, I have half of it coming from the red steel, half of it coming from the kings. So Troubadour, that's the one that's gotta go. Uh, I could have bought and sold these to build the campfire even higher. Mm, I don't really need to. Campfire is gonna do just fine. Aries again. Here's a new one, by the way, six cents. First card you play, if it's a six, you destroy it and you get a spectral card. Spectral card in your consumable slots. Similar to, uh, we had the seance in the January demo. So, you know, this is gonna be a good one for a different kind of run where you, not only are you removing the card from your deck, you're removing the sixes from your deck, you're also generating uh, these spectral cards. Now, if this were earlier in the run, I would be totally into this because I can generate, if I get an Ankh and an Ectoplasm, I can save them. I can get the Spectral cards and I can hold on to it for when I have both Ectoplasm and Ankh at the same time and then use that to, you know, make a copy. Or what's the other one? The uh, Hex. Hex gives you Polychrome. Uh, the, what's it, the Ankh doesn't copy negatives, but it does copy polychrome, and so you can copy the polychrome effect. If you have a negative, it's not going to copy the negative, but it is going to, you know, you want to have more joker slots anyway. So, not bad. E okay, we got the seltzer coming back around. Okay, so now we got to make this decision. Okay, I've got this idol that's gonna give me all the King of Hearts action. The King, the Baron, gives me the Held in Hand action. I think now, 
this is gonna be better. We're going all in on idle. So we've got the seltzer, we got the socket bus game, we got the idle. It's only gonna last us 10 hands, it's only gonna last us 10 rounds, but we're already in anti-12. You know, how, how long are you planning on going here? Forever, that's how long we're planning on going. And I'm just gonna do a little bit shuffling around here to feed the campfire. Respectable times nine here. Open up the Arcana pack. Uh, I could use the Fool for an Eris card. So here's the situation, you know what I'm saying? You know, diminishing returns. Uh, on my flush five here, another Eris card is plus three molt plus 40 chips, but I'm already at 52 molt here. So another plus three is less than 10%. Um, and the same thing with the chips here. So really I want to hold this for death. Death is the thing that I want the most because I've got the red seal so I can do my re-trigger on my idol. So I'm not going to use this to make an Ares. Uh, I will use this to make another steel card. I said uh, the, the ancient joker with the wild cards, that's one option. But since we only have five joker slots here, we'll just go with what we got. We didn't get the ancient joker. We're done with wild cards. But should keep it in mind. It is an option uh, to use the ancient joker instead. And let's go to the next round. Standard pack here. You know, maybe, you know, we're trying to get that polychrome card. But I think, you know, we'll just see what the shop has for us. All right, uh, discarding if it's, so the only non kings I have left are the six of hearts and the queen of spades. If this idol, you know, in its random selection, uh, you know, maybe one out of, you know, there's two out of 29. So that's about one out of 15. About 1 out of 15, it could land on something that's not a King of Hearts. That would be devastating. We would lose. We would die. So to avoid that, I need to get rid of the 6 and the Queen as soon as possible. And so I'm going to discard this way, trying to get a Hanged Man. That's what I want. Hanged Man or Dead. And let's try again. Okay, we got the death. We got the death. We got the second death with the fool. See, we didn't use the Ares card. Uh, we saved it, the fool, so that we could copy the death. Uh, just like we drew it up. Now I just need to draw my queen. If I draw my queen, that's it. I could delete it. So let's get rid of all of this, looking for our queen. Did not get the queen, but we do have the option. We could make another copy with our death card. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's go. This king is now red steel. Uh, I do have the seltzer, so... Seven cards left in the deck. I'm trying to figure out, is there a way that I can play my, let's say I play four kings or something like that. Maybe it doesn't score enough points and then I'm able to draw my queen and get rid of it. Because as soon as this round ends, you know, the idol will change. And I'm really trying to reduce this risk. But I think we just got to live with it. Since I no longer have the Baron, I no longer care about the re-trigger, the steel cards, what I really want to do is re-trigger the idol. And we'll do that even. All right, here we go, team. Just like that, you know, we were just barely in the in the trillions. Now we've got, uh, I don't know what that is, but this is 10 to the 19th. And here, once again, bootstraps does nothing. <laughs> Even with $600, it is useless to us. Uh, let's go buffoon. Uh, 
All right, now what jokers am I looking for? So could possibly be Dusk. Dusk is gonna be another one of those re-trigger jokers. Um, could possibly be, like I said, Brainstorm. Could be um, Blueprint. Those are the, he's gonna copy a joker. This invisible joker is already going to give me a copy of one of these, presumably, which is already, you know, the same as getting a blueprint. So if I reroll, the only thing that I would possibly do is replace campfire with one of those copying jokers. So actually, I'm going to stop rerolling. Uh, I'm going to wait until after I use the invisible joker. Once the invisible joker is gone, then I'll reroll. Maybe I'll hit another invisible joker. Uh, I will take a look at the spectral pack here. Okay, options, ectoplasm. Is it time for ectoplasm? I think it is. Uh, I don't need emulate. Uh, you know, I've got all the kings. Actually, I wanna have more cards in my deck so then it makes it less likely that the idol will hit the queen. Um, I don't need another purple seal. You've seen we've got plenty of purple seals. Let's go ectoplasm. Now I no longer have the Baron, so I no longer care about, you know, you know, I do want to have these red steel cards that gives me a little bit more. Each red steel card is times two on its own, times 2.25 or something like that, times two. And so this minus one hand size is times two less. But in exchange, the one extra Joker slot is going to give me potentially, you know, times two, more than times two. So Ectoplasm is definitely going to be the move. I could think about, you know, if I sell, if this lands on the seltzer, I would be sad. Um, if this lands on the campfire or the invisible joker, those would be kind of terrible too. I kind of don't want that. Um, I think we got to take the risk. I think I don't have the time to, if I sell the seltzer, try to roll into another one. So we'll just go, you know, fingers crossed. We hit the idol. That's it. That's the best case scenario. And now since I have the extra Joker slot, we demonstrated we don't need the scoring. We get the scoring is done, solid. I'll take the extra discard. Extra discard is gonna give us potentially more purple seal action. No repeat hands uh, this round, no problem. Ah, uh, we've done it. This queen is now, do I wanna go red steel or do I wanna go purple steel? Let's go red steel. And that's it. It's cooked. Four discards. How many tarot cards can we get? Oh, yeah. So now, if I have 100% King of Hearts, Ida will always be King of Hearts. And I could sell some stuff for my campfire. Could sell some stuff to make more room for purple seals. And now I've got no more discards left, so I just want my red seals to end the round here. Uh, this stuff I don't need. Okay. Here are my red seals with a purple seal times 13 on my campfire. Do I need more than that? I think not. I think we're good. All right, get the fire going. All right, folks, what's the move here? Invisible Joker, I want to get a copy. Um, I don't want a copy of Drunkard. I don't want to copy the Campfire. It would not be as strong as these others. Is that true? The thing that I want most is Idle, because if I've got if I get another Sock and Buskin, if I get another Retrigger Joker, then all of those Retriggers, each of those just counts as this is another idol, this is another idol, this is another idol. Each of those is just 
32 times each. But if I have a split, if I have two retriggers and two idles, each retrigger is both idles. Each retrigger is whatever 32 squared is. So that's that's the ideal scenario is if I hit the idle. Um, or like I said, if we re-roll in the shop looking for a blueprint or a brainstorm, that would also be ideal. So maybe that's what I want to do. I want to try to find those other rare jokers before I use this invisible joker. So I have a better chance of copying the good stuff. All right, I don't need the pants. I should be doing this though. Should be feeding the campfire. Uh, judgment here? Sure, why not? Ramen? Eh. If I pick up this rare here, then if I'm re-rolling and I get, you know, potentially another rare, then I won't get a duplicate. So having more rares makes it more likely to get the rare that I want. Priestess here. Before I open the Celestial Pack, I'm going to re-roll. Sell the tower. Get the Judgment. All right, still looking for that blueprint or brainstorm. Okay, here's Venus, Earth, Neptune. I'll open the Celestial Pack now, so there won't be any repeats. Eris card, we didn't get it. Uh, we'll just take a Jupiter. Uh, let's sell. Some consideration for, do I want to start taking this Tarot Merchant? That's going to give me more tarot cards. I'm looking for jokers specifically. I'm looking for those rare jokers. So this is going to give me more tarot cards. That's not something that I want. Mime here for my held in hand abilities is going to be my steel cards. We took the ectoplasm reducing our hand size. So this is not going to do that much. You know, this is maybe uh, times two total, or maybe this is times three, maybe. Same with these times three times three. I don't need that. Eris, I'll take, uh, I'm all good on my death cards. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll make another Eris with this fool. This is, you know, how easy it is to keep feeding that campfire. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop there. That's enough re-rolling. Um, we have plenty of scoring. I'm not worried there, so I'm not gonna re-roll yet, and I'm not gonna use this invisible joker yet. I'm gonna wait. Uh, 94 billion, no problem. Do I wanna get 40 bucks? Uh, so let's say, I, you know, right now, all the money that I'm getting, you know, I have from hands and from uh, interest, you know, maybe I'm getting like 10 bucks around or something like that. So if I do this, that's 40 bucks. That's way more than 10. Okay, that's $30 extra. But what I really need right now is to re-roll for jokers. Re-rolling costs money. If you re-roll, it increases the cost of re-rolling and so it's better to re-roll spread out over multiple shops so actually you know trying to do however many re-rolls in one shop costs way more than doing however many re-rolls in two shops so by not taking this skip i actually get more than 50 dollars worth of value by saving money on re-rolls by spreading it out over more shops so i'm not going to take this All right, uh, let's make some room. Campfire is eight times already. Let's look for more 
red seals, I guess. Uh, let's look for more purple seals. More tarot cards. More planet cards that I can sell. E okay, that's it. Tapped out. And this should be, we already demonstrated this is plenty of points. All right, we can go ahead and pick up an Eris card here in the Arcana pack. Mostly the thing that I'm looking for now is money, Hermit, just like that. I could use the Hangman and maybe then it's more easy to find my red seal cards. But I think what I want more is the money. You know, I, I have no problem getting the red seal cards. Uh, here in the Celestial pack, yeah, let's go ahead and make room for these planet cards. Uh, before I open the Celestial pack, I'm gonna reroll for more planets. Like I said, blocking duplication. Temperance here, 16 bucks. All right, here we've got five planets. So show me anything other than those five. Like this one. Hangman, we said we don't need already. We don't need it. Uh, I am tempted. I'll speculate. I'll pick it up now. We could always sell it. You know, like we've been selling everything. The Bloodstone coming back around, like I said, is, you know, even worse than our campfire. Even with these two re-triggers, campfire is doing more than Bloodstone would. Hermit, absolutely. Death card, sure. You know, we can always have more red steel. Uh, that's gonna be it. Spin the wheel. I don't know how many that is. It's supposed to be one and four now. Like I said, it, you know, the the difference between one and four and one and five is not that much. All right. Uh, we're gonna save our money to reroll later. Funny thing about this mail-in rebate. So I said this uh, idol here, it randomly picks a card in your deck. This mail and rebate does the same thing, randomly picks a card in your deck. And so if my deck is all kings, this will always be kings. And I get $3 for every king. So is this worth more than this sixth sense? This sixth sense right now is blocking duplication so that, you know, if I get a rare joker, I'll get something that's other than this. Uh, is it worth it to have the more money? Because with more money, you've got more rerolls. I think it's close. I think actually it's better to hold the six cents than it is to get the extra money. But come on, you know, if all my cards are kings, it's just too much fun not to do it this way. All right, let's take the rebate. Uh, question. Joker slot's full. We got every, you know, the only way we can improve our score now is with polychrome cards, brainstorm, uh, blueprint or more jokers negative joker extra joker slot do we take this negative tag i think the answer is no um if you get a negative joker you get a random negative joker could be anything 
could be, you know, for the most part, useless. Uh, a lot of things are useless to us now, now that we've got this technology here. But, you know, having the extra shop, being able to have the extra rerolls, that's going to give us access to really we want specific rare jokers, not just random jokers. So we're not going to take the negative tag. Uh, this gold card though, we can turn it into steel. Gold. Mm. Let's do it this way. Let's go these, which are not the red steel. Let's get rid of them. And the death we'll hold on to. Oh, look at that. So satisfying. This king, or maybe this king, this king. Yeah, this king. Now we'll go ahead and do the red seal. So what do we got left? We got a couple. Here's one. This guy is kind of weird. Here's another one. Okay, so we've got the four, you know, everything's purple and red, except for these four are kind of weird. So maybe that's something to keep on the radar. Times 21, 21 on the campfire. This is the big blind we just started. Okay, uh, let's do that. Oh yeah. Okay. We've got uh, these kings looking for red seals. All right, spin the wheel. And we don't need to use the other ones. We can go ahead and do these. And one of these. All right, 10 to the 18th. So we're doing great, doing fine on scoring. We can pick up this hermit here for the money. Okay, trading card, interesting. You know, if I'm, if I want to thin the deck, if I want to reduce it down to the good stuff, here's a way to do that. You know, maybe I don't need the extra, I don't know, this is giving me 45 bucks every round. Um, I'll think about it. Uh, first, I want to take a look at the standard pack. Polychrome card? No, that's okay. What about uh, Arcana pack? Fool for another hermit. Uh, yeah, I'm into that. Now re-rolling for those rare jokers. This is a re You know, it's not the strongest re-trigger joker, but it's technically it's a re-trigger joker. So this is... I want to take this. I don't want the invisible joker to copy it. That would be unfortunate for that to happen. Uh, how much is this doing really? This is one extra king of hearts, one extra times two. Oh, it's tough. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell the rebate. We're gonna do the invisible joker. We're gonna do it. I said we weren't gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. Another campfire, that's not the worst case scenario. You know, if each of these is gonna be times 40, that could be pretty spicy. And we'll go ahead and pick up this. Okay, Rem I always forget this. I always forget, you know, when I pick up a negative, I always forget that I have an extra joker slot. Um, so we do have an extra joker slot. So for example, if I want, I could pick up this showman and I can look for maybe another sock and buskin, maybe another idol. Those are uncommon. That's, you know, that's not crazy. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. Pick up the showman. Uh, here's that satellite currently giving us $9. Okay. We don't need that. Uh, strength card. Keep feeding the fire.
Uh, temperance. Ah, now we got the negatives. So we got the 19 bucks. Cool. Two lovers. Wow, look at that. Hey, I got an idea. I said we would live forever, but we're not actually going to live forever, right? Do I want to start making glass cards? And then try to get a high score that way with the glass cards. You know, if I go here, if I go in my stats, I got the... Maybe I could get higher than this? Hmm. Tempting. I think... I am. I'll make a few. We don't have to commit super hard. We'll just make a few glass cards. We're going to invest in our high scoring future. This is a new boss. This is fun here. This is a player discard. Always draw three. So, for example. I'm going to make this into glass. If I discard one, I'm going to draw three. Oh, shoot. If I discard this one, I'm going to draw three. And so you could get to like absurd hand size. This is 12 out of 8 here if I wanted to. Um, you know, other than just going for these uh, tarot cards. So like if I wanted to, you know, there's another one. So, is it time? Is it time to do the glass? Is it time to go for the big, we've got the times 29 on the campfire? You know, just to see what will happen, let's try it. Oh, don't forget, we got all these re-triggers re on our glass card. Maybe we peaked too soon. Maybe we shouldn't have thrown the glass. Oh, there we go. 10 to the 31. No glass breakage. We've only just begun. You know, we're like several hours into this. We've only just begun, my friends. We've got the liquidation. The liquidation now, things are going to be even cheaper. That means this hangman, we could buy it for one. We could sell it for one. We've got the technology. This campfire is going off. Uh, let's see, buffoon pack. Maybe I could try to get my rares. Nope, that's okay. Arcana pack. Uh, I can't actually use any of this. Sorry. Empress. Tower. Everything's free. E mine. Oh, abstract joker. Welcome to the team. Why not? Justice. Sure. Times four, family? Oh, we could do better. Bull, coming back around? It's been a while since we saw you. We got the dusk. That's gonna be another re-trigger. Is that going to be better than... Well... So here's the thing. Seltzer, that's gonna, you know, it's gonna run down. You know, we play hands and then it's gonna count down. Dust is only gonna pay off on our last hand. So these don't are not really compatible. It's one or the other. I think we can... I think we can afford to drop the showman. That's probably true, right? We drop the showman. And then we got the dusk. So like short term, short term we'll do the seltzer. And then when the seltzer runs out, we'll do the dusk. Uh, do I need to re-roll? Are there jokers that I'm looking for? Mm, I'm going to wait until the seltzer runs out. And then I'll go back to doing my re-rolls. So for now, we'll go next. Uh, 10 to the 13, no problem. Handy tag, again, you know, gives you 50 bucks. 
but I want the shopportunity. I want those, you know, the reroll cost, it gets bigger if you spend more rerolls. So, sorry, I can't do it. 50 bucks, I can't do it. Let's make more glass cards. I'm just gonna discard it. You know, I don't, I can worry about those later. Save them for later. Here's another glass card, save it for later. So, you know, one of the benefits to not using the hangman, not reducing my deck too much is I want to have a variety. I want to have glass. I want to have purple. I want to have non-glass, you know, for the short term. So I want to have the whole package. So let's not remove too many cards from our deck. Uh, we got the death here. Death, if I want, uh, you know, this is not yet steel do i want to turn it into steel do i want to use the death on my glass cards yeah i got so many options i think i do want the steel the red steel because i've now got the red glass and so i want to make sure i have enough red steel left over just to be safe we are getting into this is anti-14 now you know we will play a little bit more conservatively perhaps One, two, three, four, five. Only times nine on the campfire, that's okay. Temperance, 13 bucks. Cool. Uh, polychrome. Nah. Troubadour? Uh, we don't need you anymore. You know, maybe later. Sorry, I forgot. We shouldn't be re-rolling. We don't need to be re-rolling. There's nothing that we want to buy. Like, I would I would take a brainstorm, but I, don't, I, I want to wait until my seltzer's gone. My bad. Got too excited. Okay, here this steel glass and then i've got five glass that's the technology let's do it sun just so that i can sell it all right this tag though voucher tag so here's the thing right because you're limited to one voucher per ante that's like sort of the standard rate and you know these vouchers are very powerful very powerful technology you know the extra shop slots for the overstock the extra well you know not so much this is just an extra dollar but the extra hand size that would be really cool to get um the upgraded crystal ball if you didn't already know upgraded crystal ball is uh, you could get spectral cards in your arcana packs that could you know i could get another ectoplasm could get more uh negative jokers uh or you know i could get this antimatter here um i haven't gotten these yet I haven't gotten the you know money interest here so or you know the boss re-rolls you know this whole time we've been we've been going super hard on all of the kings of hearts if i get the one that debuffs all the hearts we're dead if i get the one that debuffs all the kings or all the face cards we're dead and so, you know, maybe that's something that I need. Anyway, the point is, vouchers, vouchers you cannot reroll for. Vouchers you gotta survive. You gotta go more antis to get more vouchers. This is absolutely worth it. At, well, if we wanna go infinite, it's worth it. Uh, in an average run, maybe not, but I need the vouchers. Which means it's time for the wall. All right, glass cards, uh, I don't want to play right now. So let's get some tarot cards. We got the death, if I need it. Uh, I already have the five glass cards. Do I need a sixth one just in case? Probably not. So I'll hold on to this. 
Hangman, if I want to remove, you know, maybe remove this card. Um, I think, like I said, I want to have options in my deck. So we don't need the Hangman. Possibly Wheel of Fortune here. Most of them are nothing, but Polychrome is always nice. And with the Death card here, with this extra Steel card, let's make it Red Steel, just in case. Just to be safe. Hermit, Charity I don't need. All right, let's do a, a quick deck check here. Sorry, it's been a while since we checked the deck. Uh, all right, there's only one. There's only one that's not purple or red. One, two, three, four, five. Four more hands left. I can go three more rounds. I could do a whole ante with the seltzer. Nice. And with that, you know, 10 to the 21st, look at that. Extra voucher, shop rerolls cost two less. That's going to save us a ton of money. You know, if this is 10 rerolls per shop, that's $20 per shop. Absolutely, yes. Uh, here, antimatter, extra joker slot, yes. We've done it. I told you, voucher tag. All right, uh, Celestial Pack. Let's build up some planet cards first to block duplicates. Strength card I don't need. We could just buy it to sell it. With my extra joker slot here, do I want oops all sixes? Uh, maybe. Not really. Death card? Sure. Wheel? Dang, if only I had the sixes, we would get the wheel. Uh, foil? Useless. That's okay. They're not all bangers. Earth. Uh, okay, so we've got three planets now. Celestial pack, looking for Eris. Didn't get it, that's fine. Uh, what am I looking to do with this spectral pack? Oh no, let's find out. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, create a copy, destroy all that's the ship has sailed on that one. Alright, here's a change. Uh this uh was an update, you know, sort of midway through the January demo, is we now minus two hand size instead of minus one hand size on the ectoplasm. So currently a hand size is eight. If we take away two, that takes us to six. If we have only six cards in our hand, you know, we're not going to get as many steel cards. But we could get some more, you know, something like this, another re-trigger joker, that could be good. I think I'm not going to do this. I think I'm not going to do the ectoplasm yet. If I get another one later, I will probably do it. But for now, I have an extra joker slot already that I'm not using, right? And this seltzer is going to go away, and I'm going to have another other empty joker slot. So for now, I'll keep the hand size so that I can keep doing my purple seal stuff. But if it comes up later, if it comes up later, we'll take it later. All right, re-rolling here. You know, I could get extra discard, maybe. Speculate. E we don't need the egg. Uh, we got the Fool, if I want to make uh, a second death card, could be fine. I mean, I got the deck pretty much where I want it to be, but could be minor modifications. Hangman, for example, we definitely don't need. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, first, Ancient Joker, one point. 5x for all of the hearts but remember it changes every round idle picks a random card in your deck and then so if you only have kings of hearts it can only do that 
Uh, the Ancient Joker doesn't do that. Ancient Joker will pick a random suit whether or not it's in your deck. So a lot of the time it's going to be blank for us. It does work if you have, like I said, uh, wild cards. If our scoring cards are wild cards, it'll always work. But most of the time this is going to be blank. So we do want this. We do want blueprint. And now the question is, what do we copy with the blueprint? Like, do I copy these re-triggers and keep getting more re-trigger actions? So right now, each re-trigger copying the idol gives me times 32 for each of these re-trigger jokers. Sock and Buskin times 32, Seltzer times 32. If I do this, if I split them, so I've got two copies of the idol, two copies of these re-triggers. Now, two copies of the idol, that's 32 times each, so whatever, 30 squared is. Uh, then each of these re-triggers triggers both of these. So that's better, that's best. It is best to split them evenly, as evenly as you can. Uh, let's, you know, do more campfire action. And there we go. Already time seven with the campfire and with the purple seals, we'll get even bigger. All right, 10 to the 17, we could already do that. Now we can definitely do it. Now that we got two copies of the idol. All right, now we're cooking. Now, do I want rare tag? Do I want a rare joker? Uh, I can't get another blueprint. I can't get another campfire, but I could get brainstorm. Brainstorm is the one that we're looking for. There's too many rare jokers. It's not gonna happen. We'll just do normal, normal rerolls. All right. Um, do I want to use my death here? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven purple seals. Mm, no, I think we're good. So, is that the move then? I just sell this death card? Let's go one more. One more steel card. This one we could sell it. All right, uh, strength we don't need. You know, we'll just clear out room here. world Pluto we don't need um, and then that's it hey look yeah maybe I should have held on to the dip oh well it doesn't matter nothing matters anymore guess how big it's gonna be it's gonna be big 10 times on a campfire Ooh, 10 to the 34. Is that a, I think that's the record so far. Yeah. Okay, we can make another glass card. We could open the Arcana pack. Get the money. Make a copy. Let's make a copy. Is there anything else that I want? No, okay, so we'll go red seal, copy. Hermit. Um, that's it. Okay. Pick up this justice. Is there something that I'm re-rolling for? Still looking for brainstorm potentially. Uh, waiting for the seltzer to go away. Ah, let's wait for the seltzer to go away. Eris. Next, I told you, I told you we got to look at what the boss is going to be. Boss says, face cards drawn face down. Mmm. Awkward. We should be fine, right? <laughs> 
What I don't want to happen is I don't want to draw and then break my glass cards. But I think we're just going to have to live with that risk. We can always make more glass cards. We can always make more kings. It's not a problem. Do do do. Uh, sure. Fool for another priestess. Is that what I want to be doing with my life? Uh, I would rather... There's a lot of things I would rather. So, let's do this. This hanging chad, by the way, only re-triggers the one card, but the one card is you know, doing both of these idols. Nice. And we got one more round on the Seltzer. Perfect. Uh, we could go ahead, Celestial Pack. Uh, skip. Sander Pack. And... Saving our money, you know, we could do this business card with the retriggers. Uh, oops. So with my, you know, we we have a couple glass cards. So the way that we've done this is most of them are on the right side. Like we've got these glass cards, we've got these middle-ish ones, and we've got the one that's on the left. So. If I play these five, probably they're not going to be glass, you know? If I discard these five, maybe I could get some purple ones. Let's try it. <laughs> maybe we get some purple ones. Ah, look at that. We got the hermit. Good thing we saved the fool. We can sell the hangman. Maybe we get some purple ones. And now we'll play these on the left here. Time 17 on the campfire, we haven't even begun. Ooh, 10 to the 30th. I almost didn't make it. Alrighty. So I said before, you know, we've seen this tarot merchant before, and I said, ah, I don't want to buy the tarot merchant because I need the shop slots for my jokers. Here's one of the drawbacks of not buying a voucher, is then you see the voucher again. And this voucher could have been something else. Except this voucher could have been an upgraded tarot merchant. Which, you know, you can't get the upgraded ones until you have the regular ones. And so, you know, whatever, if you're buying vouchers so that you don't see them in the future, even bad ones like this one, or, you know, it's not bad, it's just not what we're going for right now, you will see the upgraded one. And so it doesn't necessarily help you that much to buy it, just to get it out of the pool, out of the voucher pool. So... It's unfortunate that it shows up again here, but that's going to happen and you just got to be okay with that. You got to live with that. Uh, we did lose our uh, seltzer, so we are in the re-rolling mode. We just started a new ante, so campfire has reset here, so let's build that up again. Uh, of these here, you know, we can also be buying and selling uh, jokers. You know, since we have the empty joker slot, that could also build up our campfire. Uh, I'm going to take this business card because we've got the kings. But, you know, I'm not beholden to it. You know, so for example, if I want this clown, give me a free reroll. That's four bucks. Look at that. And then I can sell it. 
buy and sell this other stuff here. Actually, I'm going to hold on to the planets so that we don't get duplicates. Vampire removes your enhancements. Oh, we can't do that. Uh, in a normal run, this is pretty decent. It grows pretty fast. Um, but for what we're trying to do with our steel cards, can't afford it. Uh, we, I sold the clown, so I do have an extra slot now. Oh, this is fun. We got to do this. So the burnt joker, I said, you know, you discard a hand, upgrades that hand. Uh, you can copy it with brain or with blueprint. And if you do that, if your hand is all kings of hearts, it's flush five every time, baby. Let's try it. We'll do it. We'll do it a couple of times just to try it. But uh, I do want to eventually replace this with something else. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done the Jupiter because the last card we used was Eris, and you know maybe I want to copy that with Fool if I get a Fool. Let's reroll. Uh, I still want to find my brainstorm. If I find brainstorm, we're not going to do the Burn Joker, but. Uh, you know, we'll speculate. We'll take it for now. This is uh, where the game, you know, if you're playing on endless mode, this is where it starts to drag a little bit. Uh, I got to do each round takes so many operations, so many game actions, buying and selling stuff, re-rolling. You do get to shortcut it a little bit. You know, you have heuristics for stuff that you don't care about and then stuff that you, you know, there's less and less stuff that you actually need to pay attention to, need to look out for. There's the, damn it. <laughs> uh, we did get the brainstorm. And now I have to ask the question, what do we sell? Is this burnt joker worth as much as this campfire? This campfire is gonna give me like times 40 or times 30 or something like that. Short term. Mm, no, straight up, straight up is not gonna be worth it. So, you know, let's say we're at level 21 right now. Let's say, you know, we've got the blueprint and we've got the brainstorm and we're copying the burnt joker. So every round, every round, this level goes up by three. So that's plus three planet cards worth of value. You know, how many planets is it going to take for this to get to 10 times bigger than it was before? Or even five times bigger than it was before? It would take more rounds than I have left to survive here. So unfortunately, Burn Joker, we'll do this another time. It's, it's very fun to have, you got the, all the kings, you discard the kings, you get the flush five upgrade. Sorry, we're gonna do it another time. Uh, what do we wanna copy with the brainstorm? So I did say we wanna have the split between, you know, the, the actual triggers and then the re-triggers. So if I'm doing brainstorm here on the idle, we'll do or sorry, blueprint on the idol. We'll do brainstorm on sock and buskin. Or yeah, there we go. Now, do I need to re-roll? Is there anything I would re-roll for? Nope, we're good. Uh, that's it. We've got all the jokers that we can possibly get. You know, maybe there could be a possibility for uh, the legendary joker. You know, it's pretty rare to get those. There could be the possibility for, you know, maybe you get some random negatives. There could be a possibility for we get ectoplasm and we turn one of our existing jokers into negative. Uh, invisible joker, maybe. But there's not that much that I'm looking for. So let's reroll just to build up our campfire.
Not that we need to necessarily, but we could. What's this? Ooh, straights. Uh, Cerulean Bell, one card always selected. No problem. They're all the same. They're not all the same, but you know, similar. Okay, we got some more purple ones. Uh, we don't need the hangman. We don't necessarily need to sell it either. But... Alright, let's go. Let's get the big money. We do have the dusk. So maybe something to point out, you know, after doing all those re-rollings, we got four cards left in the deck. And so if we play a hand of one card at a time to build up towards doing the dusk stuff, you know, the final hand or whatever, we're going to run out of cards in the deck. So that's something to keep in mind. Later on, we potentially don't want to be discarding as much so that we don't run out of cards. The bean gives you plus five hand size is huge. It does tick down. Uh, let's see here. Looking for more planets like that. Celestial pack has Eris now, just like that. Uh, ooh, we got a thousand ships now. That's our base. Arcana pack, sure, why not? Okay, I'm not as invested in rerolling as before, so maybe I won't reroll as much. You know, because I don't need it. There's less stuff that I'm looking to actually get. Except for invisible, that is the one that I'm actually trying to get. Okay, fine, sure. I'll allow it. So if we're going to do the invisible joker, what do we get rid of? Campfire. 18x molt, gone. All right. Now we definitely, now no more rerolling. We got it. It's cooked. Okay. Let's make some room for some tarot cards. Hermit, yes, death. Uh, not necessarily. We don't need death anymore. We're good. We're going. We don't need death. Uh, and we got plenty of glass. There we go. the king of hearts with a purple seal if it's not polychrome get out of here Eris sure uh, sorry what's the boss <laughs> oh yes yeah, the cerulean bell no problem uh, do I need a reroll here I do not oh it's selected oh no that means I gotta discard it Uh, wheel? Oh no, now I gotta discard this one. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's discard one more time. One, two, three, four, sorry, five. Again! Cool, <laughs> I guess. Uh, hone? Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> it's not gonna matter super much. Uh, now we're looking for nothing. Planets don't need it. Alright, that was the boss. Which means we're going into the next round without the campfire power. So, you know, let's do a quick check here. Let's go to the blinds. Uh, Anti-17 is uh, is not on here. It's, it's off the charts. Um, oh well, I guess we gotta go in blind. 25, okay. 10 to the 30th we could do. 10 to the 25th without the pumped up campfire i think we could do that too 56 bucks not on my watch all right one two three four five make some room let's see how big we can get the campfire in just one round Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I just need one, two. Strength and Devil, don't need those. Time six on the campfire, respectable. You know, the difference between time six and times 12 is just two times, right? So, you know, not that much different. Look, with all these negatives, abstract really pull on its weight here. Plus 27. Three for each. Alright. You tell me, you know, we had the glass card. We didn't have the steel card. So you're telling me 10 to the 31st? We're good. We're safe. Invisible Joker. It's time. But what is it time for? Um, definitely I'm going to get rid of the abstract Joker. Now, do I want to get rid of the Chad? Chad right now is giving me times two times two from the idol, so this is times four. But it's negative though. Uh, we gotta risk it. All right, here we go. We get the Dusk. So this is two re-triggers. Here's another re-trigger. Here's another other re-trigger. So... I think that means we copy the idol. We copy the idol that many times. Let's, you know, we had a recipe that was working. Let's let's stick to this recipe and then we can change it up in the future. So these dusk, you know, we're getting the, the 10 to the 31st right now without any dusk action. We're going to save that one. You're gonna have to, I'm gonna make you wait for that one. In which case, uh, are we re-rolling for anything? Do we wanna to try to find another invisible joker? We could potentially find a replacement for this campfire. We could potentially find some negatives. I don't think we need to do that. But I will open the buffoon pack. You know, it's rather inexpensive. Fourteen bucks, or yeah, you know, this whole time we haven't gone under four hundred bucks. Good job, team. Good job with the. Like I said, I am your uh, balatronomics professor. Uh, I should have discarded more cards. 
Then I would draw more cards and get more purple ones. Okay. Even, you know, the cards in hand, they had the purple seal instead of the red seal. We had the glass cards. No problem. Arcana pack. Priestess gives me two cards that I can sell. Or Wheel of Fortune gives me permanent value. Or no value. You know, that's fine too. Uh, don't need any of this. Go next. Cards previously played. Uh oh. <laughs> well, let's take a look here. All right, so if it's been played, it's now debuffed. So let's ditch those. Maybe let's ditch these. All right, let's take a look here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 cards that are not debuffed. And for the red seal ones, we got one, two, three, and that one. So I think what we gotta do, I think the move is, we gotta play the glass cards. This debuff is unfortunate, but I think we'll survive if we play our glass cards. One, two, three. How many glass cards do I want to play? Do I want to play all the glass cards? That would be radical. Uh, is our scoring going to get better than it currently is? Not really. What am I looking at here? No, I don't need to play that many glass cards. Let's play one glass card. Trust. So here, I've got nine cards left in the deck. Of the nine cards that I have, I've got the one red steel, so... If I discard four and I want to play four off the dusk, maybe let's do this. Let's get the dusk action. Just to be safe. We will discard three purple ones. We will play a debuffed one. Yep. We will play this one. We will, I'm copying the idol. Okay, so I've got the re-triggers and I've got the idol. Great. And I'm gonna play one of these. I've got no steel cards. I've got the first card is re-triggered. That's gonna be the glass one. Fire in the hole. It's gonna be 10 to the 40th at least. Oh, it broke. That broke my heart. 10 to the 56.
All right, team. You know, we've been at it a good long time here. You know, sorry to, you know, what they say is, uh, you know, leave them wanting more. Uh, I'm going to, you know, for this video, I'm going to cut it here. And we will continue this. We'll do another one. Uh, we're just going to take a recess here. So, you know, I'll give you, you know, this is plenty for now. We got the 10 to the 56 or whatever it is. And we'll come back with part two in, you know, however long it takes. All right, take care, everyone.